Hello, everyone. I'm just about ready to get started. I have bad news. <laughs> Good news, bad news. Good news, we'll, we will be playing a train today. Bad news. Everything has been a disaster this morning. I might spend some time looking into preventing OBS from ever deleting my sound settings again, as that was a huge waste of time. So I apologize if this particular session sounds a bit different than the other ones. I was like 25 minutes trying to get it to register again. Very annoying, and it still doesn't work. So I don't know. I might have to just reboot the computer later. I don't know what causes it, but it is one of the greatest sources of irritation when streaming. To just lose literally every sound setting. I don't know why it happens, but it's horrible. So yeah, if you play alerts today, chat, I don't even know if those... I mean, you might hear them, but I will not hear them. I've been trying to get the monitoring thing to work, it doesn't work. I'm gonna have to just... I don't know. For now, I'm hoping it corrects itself later in the week. Otherwise, I have to redo my whole setup twice. But for now, we'll just let it go, I guess. Okay, if you play something that doesn't have an alert, I will not react to it. Just letting you know. I, I legit do not hear it. And unless I'm looking at my monitoring volume, I'm not gonna notice. But I think for today, when it comes to Etrian, uh, I only have one goal, and depending on how long this takes, uh, it might be the only goal. And that is to get the ultimate whip. Now, if things go really quickly, and this doesn't end up being like an hour and a half long just to get to it, uh, we might try some other things. Like, we might go back and refight some bosses, we might go back and... Uh, if we have a lot, a lot of time, we might even see if we could gather some money for resistance items. Because I think at this point, bonus health is good, and it's really great for normal exploration. But I think for certain upcoming bosses, it's more beneficial for me to get bash resistance. Uh, the final boss of the game is going to be doing bash. The bonus bosses tend to do bash. And... I guess I could also get Cut. Cut is for the upcoming boss, but we'll see. I think we have an accessory that already gives uh, stab resistance. But honestly, not that many enemies use stab, unfortunately. Like, casual enemies do, but like, bosses really don't. It's kind of a mixed bag there. But anyway, let's jump into the game. Let's see. I'm hoping this will not take a long period of time. It has been a long time since I had to get money in this game. Welcome back. And we have been cruelly, cruelly, cruelly denied mini grimoires. So I will remember if I ever play this game again. I am never going to bother getting grimoires outside of using like hunting horn. I will never build characters for that oh, ever gee. again. In fact, if that's a thing, and, and if we end up doing uh, Untold 2, I am never building characters to get grimoires, because this was, like, abysmal how bad the drop rate was for something that was useful. Like, we're at the end of the game, chat, and I have had stuff on Kirk since the beginning we still have not attained. Granted, I didn't use him, like, every single dungeon, but I played with him for more than nine hours. I think that's safe to say, and we have not even gotten, like, a rank one version of, like, triple charge and stuff like that. Yeah, it was definitely not worth it. Around, huh? So that's kind of my inexperience, because I only played through the game on story mode, and I didn't really care about skill transfer as much. It is what it is. Hey, Galvisium, hope you're doing well. I'm sure you think Just feeling through. frustrated at OBS, but trying to move on from it. I actually do want Calvishim in the party right now. Uh, what would be the best team for this? The Granite Knight. 
I probably should be there. Probably should be there. All right, hold on a second. Keep it quick. I keep forgetting. It's not skills to see your skill menu. It's it's custom. Um, I would say my only wasted points might be these ones. Honestly, the only ones I really need are Barbe March and HP up. I, I didn't use it a lot up to this point of the game, but I really, really need it for the final boss. If nothing else, I'm going to use it to bait certain boss attacks on purpose. Although I did see what was... I'm glad I looked ahead slightly. Apparently, the final boss of Classic Mode is not the same final boss of Story Mode, so I have never fought this upcoming boss before, which has me a little concerned, I'm not gonna lie. So I, I don't know how hard this boss is gonna be. Yeah, like, see how I have, like, Bow Mastery here and all these things here? Like, I, I've just been waiting for Shaky to give, like, these two skills, for example. Okay, does Grand Knight have everyth everything he needs? He has almost complete immunity, which is probably good enough. I might just re-roll Grand Knight just to do, uh... ...the things. Calvisium's okay. I'm probably just gonna max breath and not really care about it. Yeah, like, I think ultimately if I want to bring Shaky into the final fight... I probably want to give him Sagittarius Shot and Efficiency. Those are literally the only two skills I care about. I mean, HP up is nice too, but I, I don't super care about his damage. Like, I probably could undo Multi-Shot and Power Shot, honestly. Uh... What will it be? I think it's worth to reset him. I'll make sure they get some RR. So it does lower Shaky's level, but I do need something like immediately. I'm just gonna max out mine skill. Speaking of which, we haven't gotten like mine 10 from anybody, so I need somebody on par with Calvicium, so this will reduce how much time we take in doing this. Alright, first things first. I want efficiency max right now. I am not kidding with you. This is going to max level. If we happen to get any rank of it, I'll take it. This skill is really, really strong. I didn't think I would need it, but honestly, I'm starting to feel the non-story mode. Kind of power penalties, I guess I'll call them. Yeah, I'll just gear- I'll literally just gear him for the final fight. So he needs some levels, because Sagittarius Shot is only going to be rank 3. So this thing has a delay, and after the delay it does massive damage. It can be used to trigger, uh... Perk's follow-up attack. So I could technically, while he's setting up, I could do this before he sets up, to allow for massive damage. Um, I'm gonna give up trying to get awareness. Like, awareness and predator are really good. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, I, I, need, I need something for the boss. And I'll take one point and resuscitate. That way I have another healer. But the only skill that matters right now is, uh, mine. But, uh, I think Tri does decent damage. See you around. So we're gonna be at this for a little bit, chat. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I'm also curious what quests we have. <laughs> Bugs Nest. Okay. I think once we get the ultimate whip, I think if we have a lot of time, we'll come back and just do every quest. Yeah. I just want levels. I just want levels, chat. Back, now, fortunately for Shaky, I will not have to redo him again. Once I max out his Sagittarius shot, I'm just gonna go back to, like, Predator and Awareness. Because getting first strike is really useful. I think we're all good here. Is there anything else? Well, we'll carry this one. 
many grimoire stones am I up to? I have all these fins. <laughs> like, we kept getting, like, rank 8 of, like, all the most useless skills. Like, the only one that was kind of nice was Vault Formula. But fortunately, it's not rank 10, so I can't just get rid of Vault Formula. Like, this this is actually decent. Like, if I want to give this to another character, it's not bad. Like, if I want to give this to a Hexer, this is actually situationally useful. It's just not the skill that we've been looking for, which is a problem. Got knocked down way too late in the game. Don't care about it anymore. If we had knocked down at the beginning of the game, the game would have been much easier, for sure. Yeah, Penetrator is useful. Both of these are kind of useful for Shaky. Honestly, I might just equip him with the, the Gun Grimoire. I mean, it seems appropriate. He is the Ranger character. He also doesn't have anything equipped in general. I'll do that. So his normal attack is more likely to double hit. I don't like to normally focus on like single and normal attacks since they're not super efficient for bosses. But for this particular thing that we're doing, this should be fine. Who will carry this one? A mission has bloodlust. Nice. Who will carry this one? Oh, okay. Grand and I just has a standard one. So eventually, we need to merge all these grimoires. Here's also the downside chat. There are just so many junk skills. I don't even know what to do with most of these. The UI in the first game is not the best. Literally just gonna merge random ones. I don't think it matters. Will this do? It's done. Please take it. Yeah, like see all these ones? I just I don't really care about these. I'm never gonna use them. It's done. And again, I'm just doing this just because we can't pick up any more, and I'd rather just trim some of them while I'm here. On the off chance, it actually gives me something useful. Will this do? It's done. Please take it. We'll do one more. The only plus side is when I do this, I get rid of two at once. Literally, it. <laughs> the only upside. Um. Oh, there's something with mine one. I might put that on, we'll see. Actually, I kind of want to keep the crit. Is there anyone I super, super don't care about? Mine one, focus two. That one's also kind of tempting. I don't care about that one. Will this do? It's done. Okay. Please. That should be a little less painful. It should be at like, yeah, 87. That, that's a little better. I shall await your return. So we're gonna level Calvicium, because Calvicium set up for what we're about to do. I just set up Shaky for what we're about to do. I don't really want to re-roll other characters. I could technically re-roll Anne for this. <sighs> is that worth doing? Hey there. Thinking about it. Maybe it is. We haven't been using her uh, at all, gee. actually. I probably should what do that. Thinking? I'm sure you think this through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap it out. We're gonna have a kind of squishy front row. I'm gonna be here to skip encounters if I really don't want them, and I'm also a backup revive. All right, hold on a sec. Keep it quick. Let's take a look what Anne has. Probably okay. He's got front guard mastery, which is good. It it would be nice if she give this gave this to other characters, but it is. Yeah, she already she transferred parry. That was like the only good skill chat the entire time that we have transferred successfully. Everything else we've just been kind of stuck. Um 
Yeah, let's be? reset her. What'll it be? I'll make sure they get some R&R. &R. It, sure it got me. It got me with the reverse options. Uh, I want this. Honestly, if all I'm doing is casual encounters, I think the only thing I need is front guard here. On the off chance that I learn a skill, HP up 10 would be really good if we could transfer this. I would want this ideally on every character. Makes my life easier. So not quite max rank prayer, but pretty close. This is just gonna be useful so I don't have to pause repeatedly. Don't need Oh, I didn't even think about it. I needed mine. I messed that up. That was the whole point of doing that. I shouldn't have taken front guard. Oh well. I'm not awake, chat. See you around. I'll take it for now. Um what else do I need before I go? A lot of Hamals. I have all that equipment in there, so let me make sure Shaky has his weapon. I honestly don't remember what he was wearing. I didn't pay attention to that. I guess I'll know by looking at this character. Yeah, I felt like I'd probably use the shoe on the protector. It's probably okay. It's a pretty high defense, but defense isn't the best in this game. Jakey's good enough, I would say. Okay, so let's let's get a target goal. How much money do we need? Which one you want? If this goes really quick, we're gonna go for the super axe. I don't know if I'll go back for the super bow. I think that might be overkill. Do I just need 80,000? Okay. Should buy something. I think we're about ready to go. Yeah, I have a thread, I have some cures, some backup revives. The only thing I need to make sure Welcome that we do back, is leave with a buff. Service. Max TP increase? Sure, we'll go for that. I got- I got literally the worst one. I don't want this at all with where I'm going. Is there anything else? Ooh, this might be a big mistake. I'll leave it on for now. We're going to the harder dungeon first. Sign in over here, please. So, the fact that the game wants us to then fight up? rare breeds of the final dungeon, then I'm not super thrilled girl. about. I'm gonna go with not thrilled, chat. Well, be careful out there. Okay, so we're just gonna go to the final dungeon and we're gonna see how many items we acquire. I will get into a couple encounters here. I'm gonna hopefully auto battle this. Or not, I took a bazillion damage. Hmm. None of these have weaknesses, which really sucks for trying, actually. Didn't they have a... Um, oh, I think maybe it's... Oh, well, I could just kill him with ice, I guess. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. Oh, now I get a grimoire? That that's what I got a grimoire on? Whatever, chat. <laughs> chat, whatever. So anyway, between battles. At least I have party cure, so I could save on some TP. Our only goal is to go here. 
with lots of crystal walls. Galvishin coming up big. Jakey coming up huge. We just got two new items. And I kid you not, that's the entire thing I'm going to be doing over and over. It's very boring, but it is what it is. So I will take the fights as we come here to make it a little more interesting, I suppose. It's resistant to everything. Okay, this thing needs to die first and foremost. In fact, I'm going to use a uh, slant line cut with uh, Calvishium. I'm really worried about taking a Brazilian elemental damage, so... No, I guess I'll attack buff for now. I guess it doesn't matter. How did that not kill? How did it not kill either of them? Wow, that's bad luck. Uh, we might be in trouble here. We love the traffic cone. Quite something. I don't know where I'm going. I guess it... Uh... This is gonna suck. Okay, this thing this thing needs every single attack, because this thing needs to die before it can go again. I wish I checked what my skill levels were to see what my most damaging thing was. I'll do power shot on this though. Calvishium almost getting one shot. Hang in there, Calvishium. The traffic cone is not to be denied. So I'll just try to blitz it. Should probably die this turn before it goes. We go pretty quickly. I mean, I guess that's the plus side of the rare breeds. It's not too terrible. So we're gonna go ahead. I almost touched the OPS monitor. We're gonna go ahead and go back to a previous floor, because I feel like that was too quick of a mining trip. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go to this one. Yeah, I think we got like almost every item that I was looking for. Let's see how much like a haul of these items give us. Again, if we get into random encounters, it's not a huge deal. Because I should be recovering an insane amount of TP from prayer. I think that one is percentage based. The only upside to getting max TP up. <laughs> then I just get into a fight here. Oh no, I put the rare breed in the back row. Uh-oh. This is this is really bad actually. This fight might kill us. I'm gonna try to boost our damage as much as possible. I really hope I don't die to this. This does a lot of uh, damage I'm about to receive. That's what I was worried about. Our fastest character just got petrified. Okay, I'm gonna go for Party Cure. Calvishium, I think, has to... No, he can't use Breath, he's bound. Damn, that sucks. Um, I think Calvishium is just dead here. I don't think I can save him if he gets hit. I'm going to hopefully undo that Petrify, because that is just monstrously terrible. Okay, it ran. That that was the uh, that was the only positive thing, and the downside is it just petrified my other character. And well, it's just down to two people. Oh, it ran away. That was actually a miracle. It ran away. Yeah. So here's the downside. I don't think I'm gonna come here again just because of. Uh, 
This requires just way too many status ailments to clear. And I don't have a good way of dealing with it at the moment. Now, fortunately, I'm at least able to bring him back, but I forgot about the stupid Petrified Fairy, so yeah, I'm not coming here again. Uh, party order is all messed up, let me fix it. So yeah, I, I don't mind, like, Calvisium, like, fainting in combat, quote-unquote, because I have Resuscitate, but Petrify is a different deal. That I don't appreciate, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna skip all encounters. I believe this is what we're using to get to something earlier, so we're gonna take the take thing, which unfortunately is just gonna go for more Therica. That's why I think this area might not be worth it. Yeah, I don't, ha I don't have a lot here. I just want to get to the mining point without combat, but it looks like it's not gonna happen. Oh, like, see, fights like this are fine. Also, now Calvishame activates a thing where I'm gonna be just out of sale bits. No, I needed that in the previous fight. <laughs> okay, I think these things are all just weak to fire, so I'm just gonna buff fire damage. Help them to perish. I mean, that's what- that's the fight I was thinking I was gonna get on this floor, where it's just like, I can one-shot it. That's why we have Tri's character here. Alphysium leveled. Um... I'm probably just gonna keep leveling Breath and then HP up. Or I could do HP up and then Breath. Maybe that's better. Yeah, let's do HP up. Wait, Calvisium's more likely to survive a hit at this point. There should be a lot of mining materials between our party members. Oh, actually, that was a that was a heinously low amount of mining materials. That was not good, chat. With that many characters at mining 10, that was not good. Is there any other easy mine spot I could get access to? Do this one. It's not worth going straight back, I don't think. I might as well just get into some battles. But I mean, this one is just like right here. Now we're out of items, now it's worth going back. Because I went this way, let's take the warp back. I expect to see a lot of this chat. I'm hoping we get Let at least 20,000. Oh, she didn't even give us an item. She was not impressed, chat. She's like, listen, uh -oh. Calvisium died. What She'll never for forgive me? us. A lot of money. That wasn't too bad, just four more trips of that. Thanks, Probably do that. And we got new items. Is that all you came for? That's why I was saying it was probably- Oh, instant death resist? Oh my gosh. I might take this for the final boss. I, I remember hearing things about this upcoming boss. This is very, very tempting to get. Not gonna lie. Boss rank, agility, agility up, tech up, interesting. I love how everybody has an accessory except for Anne. We should probably give her one at some point. Oh, this is just generically physical resistance? Hmm. I might just purchase these. Like, technically, chat, this item from all the way at the beginning of the game, this is actually really good for what for the final boss. Like this is really, really good against the final boss. Um, we're gonna be purchasing a lot of those. Yeah, oh yeah, it was Hide Cape that gave us stab resistance. The other thing I'm not cert certain about is did we get anything that conferred cut resistance? We did. Interesting. So I happen to know what the upcoming boss is, so this should actually really cheese the boss if I purchase these. And look how cheap it is, chat. Can you blame me if I take this? I think that confers at least a 50% resistance to damage, which I think at this point, like, Calvisium getting 60 health... Uh, 
like for generic exploration, I think the cape is still better. Thanks for the business. Uh, I mean, I guess I could Which just purchase some Derica one here. No way, don't forget about it. Here you go. Is that on Thanks for the business. Let's put away some items so we can hold more. Welcome back, everyone. Item storage then? Very well. I look after these. Very well. I look after these. I don't want the Soma well. Prime in our party. I, look after these. I don't need this many Very nectar well. twos. I look after these. I don't need a unihorn at the moment. Very well. I look after these. This should let us carry more. Very well. I look after is there anything else? Who okay, what else? random grimoire did I make? Chat that. <laughs> Chat, I'm at the end of the game. Etrian, do you mind not giving me rank 1 skills? I, I know I have something other than rank 1. Like, I, I'm level 44. Like, l listen. You could have given me Song Mastery 9. You could have given me HP up max. You could have given me Frightful Y'all, which would have let me reset my character, actually, and that would have given me 8 extra skill points. You could have given me Barbaric March, which also would have let me reset and save a lot of skill points. You could have given me HP up, which would have let me reset and potentially save a lot of skill points on several characters. But you gave me Warrior Song, one of my preludes. Garbage. Absolute garbage chat. I am at your service. Ooh, dealing damage heals. I yes, think I want that, actually. Grimoire skills will be double the level of the originals. <laughs> well, I guess, Chad, I guess it's gonna give us a level two, then. Yeah, I think it is worth fighting the stuff in this stratum, just because we haven't gotten all the items here yet. This will give us a better idea. Also, I forgot to advance time. It was a mistake. But I might as well see. I doubt it'll let us go here again, but we'll check we'll take a look. We got blindsided on this fight. Well, GG did the front row. I think the front row is about to perish. I think that was I think that was a very accurate statement, Chad. Did I not call it? I knew they were gonna die. I was like, it's over. Please die before this thing attacks again. Yeah, these fights are nasty, Chad. Nasty, nasty, nasty. It's a 1 in 4 chance. I looked it up, chat. I think that's an instant death, by the way, chat. So that's where, like, death resistance would be useful. I, I do have to say, I like a train for the most part. I do not like instant death. I don't like that in any video game ever. I hate it as a mechanic. I, I dislike how little counterplay there is to stuff like that. Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and rest, but we'll get into one more fight here. Honestly, I think it's actually better for me just to defend with the, the back row. For front row, I mean. Oh, try my kill himself here. Oh, he one shot, so it didn't matter. I mean, I, I guess that also works. Well, let's reduce how much damage Tri is about to deal to himself by attacking first. Nice. So yeah, Kelpie Shim leveling here would be good. But I don't expect to level up these encounters. Nice thing is I am getting a little bit of TP back every time I do this. Yeah, let's go. Let's go reset. 
So I just need to do this every single time. Very well. Then allow me to show you to your room. It's advanced time. So we might be able to refight some of the bonus bosses. Be careful out there. Which is what I was thinking, because I'm gonna be resetting it a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I am at your service. I'm Rob, yes, at once. Is there anything else? I shall await your Got rare breeding. I I don't want to see that when I'm farming chat. I'm like what you got for me. I don't mind other ones. Is that that one one's kind of brutal. Thanks for the business. Um Hello. That's Next fine. I shouldn't should buy something. I just want the super whip chat. That's all I want. So yeah, hopefully we'll get this in like three or four more tries. <laughs> Now I think it's worth skipping. I think that is taking quite a while. Fortunately, I don't think we unlocked any other points where we could get money. But the rare item from the mining spot here is quite ridiculous. Yeah, like that that's about 10,000 right there, chat. That is one eighth of what we need in one try. Just the wall's worth an okay amount. Yeah, you can see, I, I don't trust the bunny. The bunny needs to, to perish, chat. Or I just whip the attack. That's nice. Guys, st guys, stop missing. Come on. Making that take way longer than it should. Probably got a copper grimoire. Well, it looked like a terrible level version of it, so I don't think it's going to be useful for us real with you. It's gonna be like rank 3 BS again. I could go for rare enemy drops here, but I don't think it's worth it. Okay, that's a chop point. Is there really not an easy mining spot to get to? Oh, there is. It's right here. I want to take advantage of Calpicium's skill. And I've gotten so many coolinins that I could probably just give myself, like, full physical resistance. Thanks to Calvishion. I could literally have a whole party of it. But if we get into a fight here, it's not the end of the world. This area is not as terrible as the floor above. Alright, let's get into one fight here. Sandfish is not the one I want to fight. But hey, at least we got prayer going. <laughs> Try generating tons of grimoires. I found that kind of funny. Is there anything else we could do? Money that's not on a terrible floor. Brain can't even process this. There's so much on the map. Okay, there we go. But like, where where was the staircase? I just saw all this yellow. We'll take an easy chop point since we're here. And I guess we could fish for antlers. I think that's what we should do. Since we have to get golden antlers at some point anyway, I'll just walk all the way to the next exit. I think that's what we should do. Yeah, see, now we have a chance to get what we need for later. Ooh, Shaky got the piercing strike. That actually saved a lot of time. Okay, golden antler. No. But hey, Calvisium level. Again, this is just making him tankier. But right now, he's kind of a glass cannon. Now we're gonna upgrade him to... Thicker glass cannon? Bulletproof glass cannon? Figure it out. I think that's what we'll do, chat. We'll, we'll come to 16 because we need to get the antlers anyway. And we'll get the free chop on the way out. That way we get little marginal amounts of experience. 
That feels a lot better. I think Hello? I think we got it going, chat. Yeah, look how look how much the cool and ends and shiny seeds were worth. So this is uh Calvicium stepping up huge for us. Got some new goods. We got almost everything we needed in one try. We got a new spear, which is really, really powerful. Oh, that is really tempting to get in an auto battle, but I really need the other blade first. Also, I just realized. Alvishim also doesn't have, like, a super strong weapon. I mean, it's it's not bad. But, like, he could be wielding some of these. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna deck out our party. Because we'll, we'll get the super whip, then we'll just get upgrades for every other character. Maybe. Welcome to the Rooster Inn. Very well. We've got advanced time, or it won't count. I don't think the protector needs damage, per se. Well, be careful out there. Try doesn't really need a new weapon. Uh, the Troubadour doesn't need a weapon. Perk getting a Super Axe would be really good. I'm thinking we'll try the Golem boss if it doesn't take too long. But we're, we're gonna get more money in the meantime. We're gonna get a ton, a ton of money. I think I'll at least get weapons for every character, just to speed up the fight slightly. Because uh, hey it's gonna be kind of an endurance bout with the boss. So, I'd rather be over-prepared for this upcoming boss, as well as the final boss, than to, like, really slug it out with them. That could cost me a ton of time. Oh, interesting. This is physical resist to all. Um... I think I'll actually take this. Even though I lose agility here. I think- because she's already too slow. Because what does she lose? Just 10 health? Versus resist all? I think I'll take the money hit for now. What you got for me? I think just That's having triple business. physical resistance is just better. Like there's there's no situation where the, where ten health will be greater than that uh like twenty five to thirty percent damage reduction. Unless we're looking purely at like will she get targeted over other characters? But she already has two hundred fifty one health. Though that 10 health wouldn't make a difference there either. Where am I going? Try this again. Okay, so I think we got our trip planned out. I'm gonna fish for the golden antlers. We don't have to do that. It makes the mining process a little less boring. I wish we had a quick work from here. But like, technically I could leave and come back. But whenever we draw dead like that and get no rares, I think it's worth going to the other areas. Sadly, I don't think there's really items we get of interest from the other kinds of uh, chopping gathering points in the future, I mean. I really don't remember any of them being interesting, like not even like remotely interesting. Because you could get the one of the better axes pretty much instantly with the drywall. Yeah, we got cooling in, that'll save us some time. Yeah, that cooling in basically chat, it's worth five times as much as the other one. And it is one eightieth of what we need. If I get like six of those, that's actually pretty big. I don't care if we get in a random fight here, because I could get back some of the XP that I lost. Nice, got the piercing shot for Shaky. So again, Shaky's kind of set up to do auto battles with the double strike and penetrator. Ziggy leveled of all characters, okay. I mean, Ziggy doesn't really need anything anymore. Like, I could improve Insight Melody, I guess, or one of the preludes. I don't know if it really matters. I might just max... Yeah. Oh. I mean, Flame Fantasia for a 1-point wonder isn't too terrible. Maybe I'll focus on this. I'll neglect my healing skill, it's fine. I don't think the Troubadour's healing skill is all that great. I kind of wasted points into that, unfortunately, but it is what it is. 
We're just gonna do the same strategy as before. So we're super, super close to getting a really powerful whip. And that is gonna make a big difference. Then from there, I probably need... I don't know, like maybe 80,000 to equip every other character? I don't feel like that's too much of a stretch. I don't need to do all of the 80,000 at once. Though I could do other... I could purposely try to get other quests. Well, I took a lot of damage there. Uh, Calvation Kill. I got really lucky they didn't hit Kelvishu. Not gonna lie. Shaky leveling is kinda nice. So this is just gonna improve Sagittarius shot in case I wanna take him to the final boss. It does do a lot of damage. So just to give you an idea, like multi-hit is maybe when it was at like rank four was doing maybe 300% total. This one already does a minimum of 300 and it has a very small chance of stunning. Not super useful against bosses, but in terms of the stun, but in terms of damage, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm actually gonna slam wise cut this. They're weak to fire, so I'm gonna go ahead and buff damage. I will hopefully one shot this thing. Nice. Rare breed equals XP. That's nice. And I think we'll just be our kind of gathering character. So I'm gonna just max prayer and then put points in mine. Because I'd rather have the HP TP recovery for when I'm doing stuff like this. Let's get into one more battle and then we'll leave. I was kind of hoping for the golden antlers because I need them for the other quest. And I know we can fight them here. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Damn. Oh well, I tried. At least we got something to sell. As I said before, any XP we get here is just making up for the fact that I rested two characters. Hello? What you got for me? Not our biggest haul, but it's just be an okay amount. Thanks, I got some new goods. Luck staff acquired. I'm sort of interested. Ooh, 20 to luck? Ooh, this is like the Hexer's Dream chat. Wow. That's actually a really cheap upgrade for our Hexers. I think this is actually really worth it. Like, look how inexpensive that is compared to the other, like, endgame upgrades of, like, the Spear, for example. I could literally get two Lux Staffs and it would not be as expensive as just upgrading a Protector. Thanks for the business. Oh yeah, we're, go we're gonna be doing some upgrades, chat. I almost made a mistake again. Off by Next one again. You should buy I'm menuing too yeah, hard, chat. Look. I gotta ah. give the game a break. Hello, if you please accept this. Oh, she gave us an Amrita. Storage, then? Oh, that's actually useful. Very well. I don't really care I'll about the other things that she gave well. us, to be real with you. I'm very well. I'll, is there anything else? I am at your service. I'm not yes, at once. I shall await your return. Yeah, unfortunately not the most exciting of things, Hello. but Next time we're two away from getting the super whip, and then I need to Welcome determine to how much time. more grinding well. I'm going to do today. I don't like to grind in general, then but I think with this room. game, if we're going to do the final boss stuff, like the true final boss, well, I kind of need to. So I'm going to slip it in here. So I was thinking I wasn't going to advance the story at all today. Today would just be prep. So I think like one... One more trip after this one should do. And then we'll take a look at what quests we need to do. I think we just need more golden antlers, if I'm not mistaken. We might just do that quest while we're here. Bug nest, which we can never get. Uh, I don't remember what any of these are. Oh, the bird tendon. Oh yeah, we never ended up fighting the giant bird. We're going to the right floor for that, I thought. Yeah, we'll we'll reaccept those quests. I'm not gonna read the dialogue again out loud, but pick them up. Tiny seed. Oh, nice. 
think that puts us at about 150,000 or so. Who am I gonna dodge all encounters? Godplay. Yeah, I think we got a good route going. I could come back here briefly. I think the giant birds can also spawn here. seems to ignore where I'm at. Oh. Wait, it actually spawned next to me. Wait a minute. This would actually be huge. If I could kill these enemies in one turn, I might actually be able to get that rare item, which is worth a lot of money. We go we got it okay nice no more eluding me this time perish yeah that was worth it nice clean up the map a little bit since I'm here that's worth a uh, 10,000 by the way chat so that so actually coming here is kind of worth it because that did not really take that much time obviously if we don't end up getting the foe and you know it's not the best, but hey, if it works out, it works out. Darn no rare materials there. But hey, we got the magic, which I think also lets us get the super accessory, the one that gives us like 100 uh, HP, TP, and something else. It, it was pretty strong, I'll put it that way. For casual encounters, it's pretty good. Oh, you can actually fight the deer on this floor. I didn't realize they were this high up. Interesting. I know the MOA can be here, which is what I was looking for, but... This is actually a pretty good route overall if I'm just looking to get the antlers. But unfortunately, we're not getting the antlers. RIP. Try it, champ. Anyway, time for Calvisium to just keep ascending in power level. He's just getting a little tankier every time. He's almost at 200 health, which is pretty solid. He was at like 145-ish pretty recently, if I recall. Wow, they only found one item each. That's so bad. Okay, I'm gonna get into a random fight and then I'm gonna move to the next floor. There we go, I was looking for this. I just need to get Bird Tendon. I think that's all I need for the quest. That's why I was saying, like, this is probably the best route. Wow, it actually survived for a turn. Nice, Bird Tendon acquired. Nice, got a quest out of the way while we're doing this. Excellent, chat. Things are finally going according to plan. Perfect routing, chat. I needed this for money anyway. Getting quest clears while we're here. Ooh, nice. Lots and lots of things I want to kill, chat. Do these things have any particular weakness? Oh well, I guess their weakness is try. So we'll, we'll accept that. Shaky getting the piercing strike there was kind of huge. It saved us a lot of time. Yeah, that saved a lot of time. One golden antler. Okay, we're going to put that away. We're going to make sure not to sell that. And we're just going to walk out of here to conserve money and also fish for the golden antlers. Panther's attack? Nice. Yeah, try at least makes those battles pretty quick, so if I want to get, like, tiny, tiny amounts of XP, probably good. So, probably in two or three more trips, I'll make up for the fact that I rested. 
But yeah, we do lose a lot of experience depending on where we do it. Looks like we're starting to get strong enough that the enemy's not getting a turn, which is kind of nice. Thank you, level ups. Uh, do I want this team to get the XP? Yes, I do. Report the quest. Hey there. How goes the job? Hey, thanks. I guess this is fine. I don't need this on the main party. The main party is already ready for the end of the game. So if I make this party stronger, it's good enough. Let's see. You did very well. I'm sure he'll make something great using this. It'd be nice if this medicine turned out to be something to help you adventurers. If she succeeds in developing it, that is. Malatane. Ooh, lots of XP. I'll be seeing drinking in that XP. How goes the job? Now. We can finally you, accept new quests. In? They need a cordyceps? Dude, haven't we been picking up like a million of those? So the Crystal Maiden. I'm not sure what that is. Phantom of the Forest, I know is an optional boss. We're not doing that. We'll, we'll do that maybe at the end of the game. I think this requires a medic. I cannot see any other way to do this other than medic. This thing throws so many status ailments, chat. I would literally have to have like 12 or 15 unicorns minimum to get through it otherwise, which seems really miserable. Uh, we'll take Medicine Woman too. The young medicine woman is looking for a particular mushroom to go in the potion. The cordyceps. It's a rare fungus that can only be found deep in the labyrinth, so she can't collect it herself. Good luck then. I'm counting on you. Can we even get that? You attained it in the Oh well I guess that answers that question. Well that was easy hey enough, there. chat. How goes the job? Here you go, medicine woman. We'll just trade in the cordyceps we picked up at some point. I guess the chop point we got it at some point. Hey, wow. thanks. How convenient, chat. How convenient. We'll take the troubadour leveling more. It's fun. Good job, everyone. Is this the mushroom? It's a very strange looking thing. It grows from an insect. Dot, 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 dot. I pray I never have to use that medicine. That was easy enough. Silver Prime's pretty good. And level, Kavishim level. Kavishim probably about to level again. Oh, uh, maxing prayer. Nice. So we're pretty much optimized to do those kind of encounters. Kavishim gained two levels just from quests. We're pumping up his HP. So I think he's out of kill range for now. Try, I think, had everything at level 9 except for fire formula. So let's put that at level 9. And Shaky just needs to keep powering up Sagittarius Shot. It's kind of expensive TP-wise, but it's kind of a fire and forget as well. So it lets me kind of do Sagittarius Shot and then heal, for example, for two turns. It's kind of solid. Yeah, Calvishim's now almost at 200 health. So he's slowly catching up, chat. He's getting there. His defense is still very poor, so he'll explode. But it is what it is. I'm counting on you. The only thing I'm gonna do is make sure we put away ah, those golden antlers. Hello, you please accept this. I think a three. Don't really care I about those. Very well. Chat, they're I so beneath us. Well. I don't need them. I'll look out very well. Put away Hamal so we can hold more items. Very well. I'll look. Is there anything? Item storage then? Uh, are we only have one golden item antler? Ugh. Oh. I should have been saving those. That was a player mistake. I definitely have picked up more than five. It's just painful because now I need them. You get any interesting grimoires, by the way? Survey says no. I shall await your return. Actually. Welcome back, everyone. I am at your service. Doesn't matter what we have then. I'll just get max health up. Is there any health up, I think, is still one of the best ones, especially for bosses. Hello, what you got for me? Well, look how much money that is. Okay, it's not 10k, but it lets us get a good accessory. Thanks. Almost enough to. Oh, we got a new shield. Really? Oh, it's just 32 defense. That's all it offers. I'm less impressed now, Chad. I feel disappointed. 
Yeah, there is only one other armor in the game that I think offers physical resistance, like, to everything, but that requires us beating a super boss. Not saying we won't do it at some point, it's just that it's probably not realistic for me to do at the moment, unless I prep for it. Oh, I'm just using Bloom Boots, that's it. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, there's something that provides cut resistance here? Chat, this changes everything. Wait, well, I mean, for the upcoming boss, I don't super need it, but... Wow, that's kind of unfair. I might actually do that. That's really good defense. To just one random category type. I lose a little bit of agility, but... I gain a resistance. Yeah, like, I don't care about the bear glove that I'm using. I might even just sell that. Do strength on the back row. Nah. I can even just get rid of Petal Coat. Yeah, that's an even easier choice. There you go. I know I'm gonna get enough money to get the Super Whip no matter what, so I'm just kind of looking at these. Moccasins are just tech. Give him kill tassels. Might do. I don't care if he doesn't have resistance. There you go. The 20 TP there isn't too bad. Yeah, like that wolf armor kinda sucks. So I'd rather just get free cut resistance. Again, like, it now renders me really, really resistant to damage. The, f the only thing, the thing I'm wearing offered defense anyway, I'd rather get the cut resistance. We're coming up to, as I said before, a boss that does almost all cut damage. So being able to reduce the damage by, like, 40... E let's say even just 20%. The boss can do, I think, upwards of 200 damage. That's kind of a lot of damage reduction. So it I would have to have, like, 100 plus defense to get the equivalency. So this could be the difference between being one-shot and not being one-shot. Um, this character already is resist all, so I don't think it really matters. Uh, let's take a look at the accessory that I could purchase. Yeah, agility, tech. Or physical resist all. I think I'll try this one. Is yeah, we'll see. Well, Calvishim almost hit 200. Let's see how I feel about this. Thanks for the business. I'm gonna put away some items Welcome for now. Back, everyone. Very well. In Is case I don't like what I just today? did. So, I s delayed getting the super whip, but that's okay. Very well. Very well. Because Very well. Very well. now my Very front well. line is a lot tankier. Years. I'm losing some health from the other accessory though, which kind of sucks. But yeah, we're way, way, way stronger overall. Have a safe trip. You know what, chat? We're here. I I'm gonna. Hello. I'm just gonna grind Which it out. It's fine. Want. That really did not take that much time. I'm gonna buy the super spear. Here you go. Here, Kevin, you earned this. That's ten to agility. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, uh, making Calvishim almost always go first. Yes, please. This'll help if he's gonna be the healer character, too. Um... I didn't get the super bow from, uh, what's its name? The Flying Manta Ray. Kind of unfortunate. Agility plus five. Wow. Or I can make him really tanky. Yeah, look how much health Try has, by the way, if I give him this. It's kind of crazy. Let's do I want him to go fast or survive? I think I just want him to go fast. I mean, for bosses, I'd rather have this one, but this is pretty good. I'll give up the bow for that. Being able to outspeed the enemy is so huge. Yeah, let's just finish our purchases. Using Hunter Bow. Small damage increase. There you go. Better than nothing. Oh, 
fine. We'll do that. We'll sell our remaining items, because I don't think I need them. So we'll do like three or four more trips. We still have to go back and forth for uh... Yeah, I'll just purchase the secret sword if I want it. So we'll have to do four more trips, I think. And then we'll do Welcome to the Rooster Inn. Very well. Then allow me to show you. Else, we'll see. This is it before. This is kind of a big damage increase for everybody. And might be worth it. Now funny enough, Anne could still end up with like the bash resistance. To the point where I don't know if she'll take any damage from anything. Even though her agility is terrible. I think if she gets the bash boots up, she's basically invincible. I might try on stream just to see how much damage the Drake does to us now. Um, once we switch over to bash equipment. So for example, I think I gave... A resistance here, which is good. But I want to try the same thing, but with, like, the Tusk Charm. Oh, I'm still wearing the Tusk Charm, so I don't even need to purchase this for myself. So I have, like, two damage immunities. The only thing that could kill me is Stab, probably. And given that the Troubadour already has a lot more health than most characters, it's pretty good. Do we have any other quests hey we could there. take? Which one are you interested in? Medicine Woman 3. Sure, we'll take that. Ah, that one. A young medicine maker has created a potion that reverses petrification. Or so she thinks. She posted this job to find out if it actually works. She wants you to bring her an adventurer has been petrified. I've heard that there's a monster on the 19th floor that uses a petrification skill. I know it just feels wrong to get one of your party members petrified on purpose, but it's for good cause. Okay. How goes the job? Probably do that one. Let's, uh, dump the other tasks, because I don't me? remember how, how to complete the them. Like, we can hold on to the golden antlers and the bug nest, but like these two, I don't remember what they wanted from Which us. One are you interested in? We might as well just take them again. Ah, that one. Okay, hear me out. Oh, we have to go back to the first floor. Interesting. I think we can do in? that. Ah, that one. Oh, both of them were on the first floor. Got it. Um... Interesting. Now I'm starting to remember. That's- that's right. That's why we were not encountering those quests. That makes sense. I'm just double-checking one thing, because I think I did write down the items for this quest. talk to the people in town to figure out what should be acquired here and then maybe I'm we'll do those other you. quests because now we've at least gotten a lot of damage and now Calvicium is really tanky in terms of resistances the protector has resist all and even our back row has a lot of resistances and try is more damage so he's way more likely to one shot now welcome to the rooster inn well crab apple Okay, let's let's start making notes. Let's let's try to complete this quest. Crab apple. B two F with take. Though I I do not want to complete this quest until we get every item. I only suggest it because you used to really enjoy meals made out of them. Come back here whenever you're tired. Yeah, let's talk to everybody. Hello, what you got for me? Oh, I need to put away. Oh, we can put that already. Is that all you came for? Uh, a grave offering. Is someone in your guild? Huh? Oh, you, you scared me. You've been hired to get an offering for an adventurer, huh? It was me. I buried a man with his first equipment. Memory of his career sort of thing. I remember the man, too. He was a protector who was trying to decide whether to get a weapon or a shield. In the end, he bought a targe. Okay, he needs a targe. We'll try to gather these. I guess he won't be coming back to the shop no more. We'll buy the torch since we're here. If I had not sold it earlier, I saved myself 50. So I think it's worth doing because we'll end up getting a uh, 
a lot more XP and bonus items. I don't think they're missable items, but it's kind of nice. Back, everyone. Oh. Great job offering. How about a wreath made from herbs? Over here, please. I just so happen to be in the middle of making some cordials. Oh, so we got it for free. Herbs fend off evil, or so my grandmother often used to tell me. I'm sure it will protect both the living and the resting. Is there anything else? I shall await your return. Okay, free item. Hey there. Well? Oh, we need tiny petal food for stratum. I think that's just like a gather. Come again, kiddos. Ah, oh, it's you. A grave offering. Hmm. Boat said a job about that. It's rare for adventurers to even get graves. I think a flower is fine. Well. This is just me thinking aloud, but he loved liquor, even if he couldn't handle it. He liked sweet ones. I shared my stuff with him a lot. He once split some expensive sap wine. Oh, sap wine was, uh, 17th floor, I think. It's where we got the pedal. We might have to do this one a couple times, because uh, we don't have great tank abilities. He used to say he wanted to get strong enough to go to the fourth stratum to get it himself. Oh, it goes. <laughs> said too much. It really was a wuss. Wow. <laughs> what? Slamming on the dead guy there, chat. What Damn. You here to ride a hmm. An offering? Would you be referring to the adventure who was recently laid to rest in the labyrinth? I remember him and his lover well. They were both enthusiastic explorers of the labyrinth. She came here asking for permission to have his grave placed in the forest the other day. No. Though I'd heard about it. As to an offering, how about a hard shard? I know that similar things were commonly used as building materials in his hometown. Being laid to rest here in Etria, so far from his birthplace, may help ease his spirit. If I remember correctly, you can mine them for the 17th floor. I mean, we have to get money anyway. That's why this seems kind of convenient, to be honest. Was there something else? You are free to leave. Uh, we'll hold off on going to the first stratum right away. We're gonna do our normal rounds first. Also, I don't remember if I took a meal. If we didn't, I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah. Like, we are so much tankier than we first started this dungeon, I'm not feeling too worried. I'm still worried about the insta-death. You know, it is kind of what it is. But I think we're actually fairly tanky. Kinda nice. Okay. Ooh, lots of items, but none of them rare. A little disappointing, but at least it's money. So I figure we'll make the gathering trip a little less boring by doing quests. But it encounters there, kinda nice. Is that the 17th floor? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Yes. We get the hard shard while we're here. We can also potentially get antlers if we're lucky. We should get it automatically with Calvicium. We actually didn't get it automatically with Calvicium, so Shaky stepped up there. But hey, at least we still got money from Calvicium, so we'll take that. Again, we're just getting our bonus money. We'll get into one fight here. We do have to get petrified at some point, so I might go up a floor. Actually. Avishim should go first, so he should end up doing basically full damage to that thing. Wow, that was a lot of that was a lot of damage actually. Avishim hit for 192 with the basic attack, that's kinda crazy. Yeah, so we got the item we needed here. What else did we need? The sap line. It was on the 18th floor. Oh, no, no more rare enemies. We got a couple chances at this. Okay, got the sap line. The only thing we're missing is tiny petal and crab apple. I guess we could do those. I mean, at least Try has the take skill, even if it's just one point. I don't think either of those were particularly rare. 
But let's see what horrible thing fights us on the first floor that they've been warning us about. And actually, before we do that... We're still gonna fish for golden antlers. We're gonna do our normal path chat. Still have enough for tape and stuff like that. Ooh, we really are kind of tight on space. Oh, because of like the charge and stuff. It's fun. And Bob and Boars, nice. So I got copy should be slam wise cut. Let me see if we can get a kill here. I have a weakness, right? Yeah, no. Ooh, nope, don't. Like, don't defend. Please don't defend. Uh, we'll just do normal attack. Ooh, not enough for one shot. A bit disappointing. Hey, at least we're stronger. And we killed with the cane from the back row, so we got extra items there. Kind of nice. Yeah, it is time to go. Hello, other enemy. Also, I went here by accident. Unfortunately, it didn't seem to really hurt us that much. I mean, I could fight the caster tree for, uh, Petrify, I guess. Use Party Cure. Keep us topped off. We're fine. Yeah, you can see the party's just doing a lot more damage overall. Yeah, I'm picking the item I'm looking for. And we got a Grimoire, which kind of sucks. We know it's not going to be good. Yeah, let's, let's just all look into our hearts and acknowledge that whatever Grimoire I picked up is probably booty garbage. Uh, so we have almost everything we need. We're just missing those three items. Alright, what we're going to do, we're going to leave and come back. But we're just going to hold on to the items we actually need. And we'll do the other quest first. That way we have more item space. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so let's put items away briefly into the May House. Let me have a look. Welcome back, everyone. Item storage then? Don't need Very a mal. Well. I'll look after these. Save Very one nectar. Well. I'll look after these. Get rid of two of the things that get binding so I can hold more items. So we're gonna temporarily store some items. So we have a. Uh, we'll keep the targe, because I won't accidentally sell that. Put away the sap one. And we needed the hard shard. Keep one of those in the bank. We'll come back for it. Everything else we'll just sell for money since we were there. And now we can hold more items for next time. What you got for me? Thanks. Is that all you came That's for? not too bad. We got we got 20k basically instantly. Welcome and back, we're gonna get more money potentially from this quest. Then? Take Is that, take wanted? that. Need wanted? more bug nests. Here you are. Oh, we have really terrible weapons in here. Let me sell these. That'll free up space. We'll keep all, like, the special ones, but these can probably be removed. Nobody's here. Nobody ended up making a Dark Hunter, so there's really no point to holding these. Unfortunately, I do think the Dark Hunter is really good. It's just... We'll pick other things. It's fine, they're allowed to do that. Was this what you wanted? So let's Here clear you out some of the worst Was items. This what you wanted? Here you are. Burn spears, okay. I'll buy a petal coat if I really need wanted? it. I'd rather Is get the money now. Await your return. Yeah, so we just gotta make sure not to sell the targe. Hello? What you got for me? That freed up like seven item slots in the storage, which is good. Lost four hours of saves from that. Ooh. Welcome to the Rooster Inn. Very well. Okay, so what we're gonna do? To show you to your room. 
we're gonna do our normal round. I'm gonna start with the first floor, and if we don't get it, we'll just complete our normal round. Sign in over here, please. Well, be careful out there. Elvisham sitting at 128 health, which is terrible. We'll have to give him more HP ups at some point. Next time, you should buy something. Wow, she Welcome sasses back, us everyone. so hard for not I purchasing am at your anything. Service. I'm Rob. Yes, at once. Is there any? I shall await your return. I like how I didn't even bother checking the Grimoire chat. Like, I just like. I just knew in my heart it was gonna be garbage. Fun. Let's see what's on the first floor. Familiar with his peaceful such on the forest, there's no indication of a petting monster attack. You're about to leave, the soldier stops and questions you. You look like some very experienced adventurers. What are you doing hanging around in a place like this? Explain the quest you undertook regarding the ivory princess's dreams. She said that? Well, as you can see, the forest is quiet as ever, isn't it? Come to think of it, it could be a little too quiet. You can't even hear birds chirping. Even the soldiers strained to listen to anything strange when suddenly the roars of monsters rang out. What was that? I've never heard of sound like that on the first floor. Could it really be monsters? We'll have to explore this floor to make sense of the noise. Okay, we're gonna avoid the grave. Instant you set foot in the grove, an uncomfortable number of vicious gazes turned towards you. These must be the monsters the Ivory Princess dreamed of. Uh oh. Must not let a single monster into town? Uh oh. Well. I guess we're doing a lot of FOEs, chat. I mean, I'm glad we have physical damage up. Let's get attack power up. We'll try stacking attack. Actually, no, we'll do insight. Do they have a fire week? No, they don't have a fire week. That would have been really convenient, actually. I guess I'll buff Calvi ship that way. Great dodge on the party. But we did slantwise cut. <laughs> Fortunately, these are the floor two ones, which aren't too bad. Just in case, I'm just gonna do a healing spell. But we're just gonna go for wall damage here. I like was sort of useful there, I guess. This peerless stance. Kinda sucks, but it is what it is. There we go, chat. I healed 60 health. There's like literally nothing at this point in the game, but hey, I did it. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought all five were gonna fight us at once, but this is a lot more manageable. I guess it's nice to see how much stronger we are now. I can only do it from drawing stance. But... That's fine, I'll just slam wise cut along. I mean, health wise, we're looking really good. I don't think I have anything to really worry about. I could raise our defense slightly, I guess. Wow, they can't even hit us. That's kind of sick. I'm just gonna slam wise cut spam. I don't care about the follow up. Yeah, Kalvisham doing almost 300 damage with Slantwise Cut is pretty high. You know, literally double damage compared to other party members. Kalvisham leveling here, kind of big, because this fight might actually be difficult. And him having a little extra health would be great. 
so oof, he's only at 135 at the moment. Painful chat. But hey, at least we gave him HP up. Maybe he'll survive, maybe. I mean, he does have resistance to cut. Oh, he's got the physical resist to all. Oh, maybe he's actually tankier than I thought. I could substitute his hat out for something that gives him health. Oh, he's running from me? Where are you going? Oh, I want to fight you. The tree rats, get out of my face. All right, chat, out of my face. Where are you going? What ambush are you leading us into? It's kind of a neat thing that you're chasing him in the dungeon. I mean, I want to come this way for the chop point anyway. We need Tiny Petal, right, chat? Oh, did he bait me? Wait. Oh, wait, did we actually have to protect the town? Uh, did I fail the mission? I didn't realize that was actually a thing. Uh, okay. I, I didn't realize that was a thing. That literally Hello? wasn't a thing prior to that. I mean, I guess they told us that. I thought it was more Welcome flavor back, text everyone. than real. I am at your service. Question mark. I mean, I'll keep going. I'm wrong. Yes, at once. Is there and have a safe trip? Yeah, I didn't realize that was real. Then I wouldn't have chased him. I mean, you got me, I guess. I mean, I'll double check to see if you get lose anything if that happens. Cause I I haven't saved. I entered here. I did save, I think, right before coming here. And I can always cancel the quest, too. So it's probably intended. Anyway, he apparently survived. to be something I'm missing. Is it just like I don't have a shortcut mapped on the first place? Don't follow me, right? But I could just do this, right? Hmm. There must be something about the first floor I don't have mapped. It's, this doesn't seem possible. So that means I probably messed something up with the map. Where would the shortcut be? I think we're gonna look... I think I know where it is. There's, there's only one place it could really be. Based off of how it was moving. Unfortunately, he got a ridiculous head start on us. Where's he going? It's like this is the only place it could be, right? Because you have to cut him off. Although now he's in like a really awkward spot. This sucks. And also the encounter rate here is a problem. Do I have enough time to make that gap? Because I messed up the puzzle. Well now I definitely do. Game stop. I'm trying to do a puzzle. We talked about this in, like, Shadow Hearts before. Like, when I'm trying to focus on a puzzle and the game is, like, random fights, I find that so annoying, personally. Let's do this to chase him around the corner, and then I'll meet him in the other place. Yeah, this should work. Got him. 
Nightmare Beast chant. Oh, it put us to sleep? Ew. Alright, chat, ew. Uh, I'm gonna defend with the front line. Back line can continue doing whatever on the matters. Um. Wow, that one shot Calvicium. I'm so sorry, Calvicium. I even defended with you. Still exploded. This thing has a lot of health. This thing is taking, like, no damage from us. Oh, it actually stunned him. Wow, Sagittarius shot interrupted him. We got so lucky there, Chad. We should have taken so much damage. Okay, well, that skill actually just came in handy. Speaking of which, let's do a boosted Sagittarius shot. Thank you, Shaky. I didn't realize that could interrupt it, but I guess that kind of makes sense. Let's do a heal. I'm gonna do a boosted heal. Do some regular damage here. Is echoing Rondo not combo with healing lullaby in this game? That sucks. Oh well, I try. Well, good thing we have try and shaky here for boss damage, because this fight would take forever otherwise. Here's an example of like being able to defend would be useful. I think I'm still just gonna straight up attack with the front row. worth a decent amount of XP. That honestly was like not a lot of XP for how difficult that fight was. Killed Nightmare Beast. Fierce monsters have been defeated and the lap returns to its formal peacefulness. You fought off the monsters that were preparing to attack the town. <laughs> Let, let's pretend that we, we didn't have that happen earlier, I guess. Okay, so we have Shaky to revive Calvicia. Nice. Have and to burn all of her TP, specifically to heal characters like Helvetian. Helvetian's back to normal, 175 health, not bad. Let's actually get the chop points. We need a tiny petal and crab apple. I found them from there. Look around. If any FOE dares to stop me from taking this item, I'm gonna murder them, chat. I don't care. Like, I dare them. Crab apple. Amber lump. No need. So, I mean, amber lump, I think, gives us more nectar, so it's not the worst thing in the world to acquire randomly. Yeah, you're in our way. Right, chat? You're you're going to die. Got bad news for you. Oh, you have a lightning weakness? I have really bad news for you. Wow. <laughs> chat, can we talk about that? Tri's damage is kind of out of this world. It did a thousand damage as he hit weakness. A lot of damage, chat. Um, yeah. I mean, that's kind of a debuff. Let's take it. Come on, tiny pedal. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, that, that was the I'm not messing around. You're gonna perish. 
I think we have every item. We got the crab apple, the tiny petal, we got the wreath, we got a targe, we got the sap line, and the hard shard, right? Making sure I didn't miss anything. Hard, hard wood. Uh, crab apple, tiny petal, hard shard. Large. Why am I not seeing? Oh, there's that one. I got scared. I think that's everything. I guess we could go complete the other quest. Then we'll go back to normal farming stuff. Yeah, we're almost done, fortunately. We upgraded every character, more or less. We'll need to purchase two Lux Staffs, and I think that's the final upgrade after we get the Super Whip. Unless I want to go for the Super Axe. Okay. Come on, let's check the grave. Small yet carefully made gravestone here. A small bouquet of flowers lies before it. Place an offering? Yes. Place crab apple, targe, tiny petal, that one, hard shard, herb brief. Place the offerings you collected from town on the grave. The once lovely, lonely grave is now overflowing with outpourings of warmth from other people. You have no doubt more than completed the quest to give offerings. All that remains is to report to the pub. You say a prayer for the man you have never met and silently leave. Okay. Well, before we do that, we are very, very obviously going to get more money. I think Chad has been super patient. I think we'll end up taking a little sneak peek at Soden after this. But we are doing super well. I think we're basically ready for the end of the game. I might be going overkill on the damage, as I said before, but I've never fought this final boss. As I did not realize there were actually final boss differences between story and classic until literally today. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, I think either way I would have formed the Super Whip. I might have been able to get away with just the Drywall Axe here, maybe. But I'd rather just get a little more damage a turn. Anything to save, like, I'd rather spend an hour here to save, like, three turns in a boss fight than, like, lose because I don't have enough DPS to finish the boss. I'm like, I I'd rather go a little safety precaution on that one. Okay, so we need to get petrified at some point, so... I might as well take this route until we get petrified. While we're on the way to get petrified, I might as well as acquire some items. See that chat? Multitasking. I don't think the deer can spawn here, which has been unfortunate. It is what it is. See, now there's actually a reason to come to this floor, chat. Oh, we got the cordyceps. Nice. Not the enemy I want to see. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to kill all of you. Paris. Oh, they split the attacks. That kind of sucked. Oh well. JT leveled. Nice. Improved Sagittarius shot. I mean, it did decent damage, though. So. Again, this thing scales really, really heavily with skill points. I think already it's at like 450%. So Shaky actually does some pretty decent boss damage now. Because again, he'll basically attack once, and during those two turns, he's free to heal. And he still outputs decent damage. Uh, I'll do one safety heal. Okay, so we got the rare items there. And we got ambushed, nice. Not by the death sight, though. I want to get petrified by the fairy, not murdered instantly by this. Okay, I'm gonna just defend. I'm gonna boost our attack power. I'm gonna boost... Do you have a weakness? You don't. That sucks. Roll, and we'll do... I'm gonna do boosted Sagittarius. I wanna make sure this thing dies. In case something horribly happens to us. Or it just kills Try, our biggest damage dealer. Oh. 
out of all the characters that could have crit. He had like 300 health, just so you're aware, chat. Like, he did not have a, a small amount of health, and he still died instantly. That is just most unfortunate. Well, this is why I did the boost in Sagittarius, I guess. Also, did I seriously just miss that? Did that seriously happen? Oh, got the stun. I'm petrified. Okay, we need to get out of this encounter immediately. What a nightmare. Oh my gosh, get me out of this fight. <laughs> get me out of this fight. Chat, I'm out. You remember the quest? Yeah, I know. I know I remember the quest. Get me out of here. Oh my gosh, revive try. Calvisium's down. I'm down. Everybody got wrecked. Please. 25%, please. You're killing me. What is this? Are you being serious with me right now? Chow, how, how many attempts was that in a row? How many one in fours did I fail? I feel like that was like one in a thousand. I, I think we were getting up there. <laughs> that was over 20 attempts. That was pretty heinous. Oh my gosh, that was, that was terrible luck. Oh man, that's why I don't like RNG skills. Anyway, we're now, we're gonna get out of here. Right after we go to, I think, this floor. I think I could still kill everything with this team. Probably at least does damage. Calvisium not being there kind of sucks, but... He's with us in spirit, that's the important thing. Golden Antler? Aww, uh, so close. I'll take that level up though. Is there anything else I really want her to do at all? Other than learn mine? I don't think so. Anyway, we're now gonna get more income. Not gonna be a lot of income, but I'll take it, chat. I think I'll just... well, yeah, I'll just leave. Thank you for watching so far. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know about the anti petrification. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, yeah, I know, I got murdered. Fine. Hey there. Report the quest. Now, the question is. If I hand this nice. in, does it cure me, and do I lose XP for being petrified? I need to know both of these things before we continue. Then I'll hold off handing in the other quests. Oh my! I know it's for the quest, but I'm still sorry you had to do this. Let's try the client's potion. Dot 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 dot. Petrification isn't reversing. I don't think this potion works. Sorry about this, but failure is always the best teacher. Don't get angry at her, okay? Here's your reward. Hurry up and get healed. Sell it times three. Okay, we still get the XP. Nice. Take that. We'll max HP up. Again, this is kind of like our exploration team. Um, do I want to give the XP to other characters? I'm counting for the on final you. bit, because I think the exploration team has enough XP Welcome now. To the rooster in. Uh, I'd like to heal everybody. Oh, I'll call the doctor at one. Oh, I'll call the doctor. Is there anything we'll else? Stay a full well. day. Allow me to show as you, to you do. We probably well, reset the ball for out there. Way, which is good. Uh, you. What? What'll it be? Let's bring in other people. I'm gonna bring in the what we're gonna bring into the final area. I think we're gonna bring in her. Probably ping. I don't need the XP, so I don't mind sitting out. I give it to... Or Shaky. Shaky also kind of needs the XP. He needs a lot of XP. If I'm going to bring him into the final fight, I think he needs the XP. I could give somebody else randomly some XP. I could give it to all of our hexers. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. 
I don't think I need Granite Knight to level at all. He's also really high level. Not really that concerned about him. Let's give it to Emma. All right, hold on a second. Yeah, let's let's get the XP for these characters. I don't need to. I'm already like level 40. I should be Which one are you level interested boss in? already. Now, what'll it be? How goes the job? Hey, thanks. Get these quests out of the way. Where does the Sonic Dagger? Good work. Her dream really did turn out to be real. But you defeated the monsters. Now she can finally rest easily. Maybe now she won't be troubled by such nightmares any longer. Everyone's calling you the heroes of the town now, you know. <laughs> I was given a little something from the hall as a reward for protecting the town. <laughs> Literally let the town you hit. So you get a bonus. Thank you, everyone. In the Sonic Dagger. Okay, that's a decent amount of XP. Let's go ahead and do Remembrance of a Friend. Hey, it says Unicorn times two, but we should be getting a lot more than that, because we handed in every item. This is the before. The Troubadour me doesn't need the XP. No, I'd rather it go to some of our ult characters, because we will need them on some of the other bosses. Good work, everyone. Perhaps he was lucky to even have a grave. Lots of adventurers who die in the labyrinth don't get that much. But it's always better to just not die in the first place. I want you all to remember that. <laughs> I like her advice is don't die. <laughs> Great advice, Barkeep. You know where times two. Oh no, I'm out of room. I didn't think about this. Oh, I should have gotten rid of our items. Uh, I made a mistake. Oh, I can't get rid of the small things. That's fine. Okay, that's all we got. Oh, I thought we'd get more than that. One more thing. The client's here right now, actually. He wants to talk to you. Why don't you go see what she has to say? Okay, we'll I'm come back. On you. We'll come back. We'll, we'll talk to her in a bit. It's fine. Hello? I think that's how we get the bonus what items. For me? We'll make sure we don't give up any other items while we're here. I got really excited and then I remembered. It was like a wrong, wrong uh, antler. He still managed more? to get new items? Really? Agility plus five. Hmm. That's actually really solid. That's a lot of speed. There you go. I think I'm gonna purchase this for there all characters. Body aspects. Okay. Nobody's using boots at the moment, which is interesting. I think Lacey Hyde, what's that? Oh, it's this one. Oh, because it gives strength, that's one. Makes sense. We're still only using stud vests. I mean, this is not a big damage increase. I don't know. That's worth it. Random ice resistance is okay. I could give him ag an agility free shield. Bear Glove, I think, is the highest strength boost we can get, which is why we put that on. Yeah. I could just go for the 30 health. We did get the combat shoes, which is kind of nice. I'm kind of tempted over the body aspis to get this, because it's kind of a lot of speed. I'll think about it, though. The Kirk right now has the Great Axe. Is that the one right before the final one? Oh, it's not even close. Yeah, Kirk's damage could be way higher, chat. That's why I was saying, like, I could get away with just this purchase. Thanks for the business. This is still better than nothing, for sure. Hello. What Our main party is like 45 action speed up. Thanks. Is that Thanks Our hexers business. go faster, which is good, because being able to shut down an enemy turn in casual encounters is kind of huge. Also, they leveled a lot. Let's uh, max stoning first, I think. That way they're more useful in regular encounters. So, Shaky's almost ready for actually the final boss. Like, even though I don't have agility up or other things that would technically be more useful, um, I'm gonna be real with you, I only care about Sagittarius Shot. Once that's maxed, I guess I'll start putting points in HP up, but I feel like Shaky's HP is okay. It's not, like, great, but it's just... This character is pretty much good to go. Again, I think Stoning Curse is like the best curse, so we're just gonna keep leveling that. Does Kirk really need anything else? I don't think he does. 
He already has defense up and all these other things. Like, the only thing I could really take advantage of is HP up and attack up. I guess I could just give him attack up for the boss. I'd rather he do damage. And Chris actually has a spare point. Nice. Uh, I'd like Nick to go to bait. So, again, the more he puts points into this, the better the whip skill will be. Because keep in mind, his damage is going to be obscene. So any kind of damage multiplier at all with bait is really broken. It's just very situational. Like, you can't use it for normal encounter... Well, I guess you could do it for normal encounter clears. But it's better if you know the boss pattern. Because then you could punish and do, like, a thousand percent damage. With, with the super whip would mean that it deals... Potentially upwards of 3,000 plus. Not an exaggeration. It does insane, insane damage. Because it can get multiplied by uh, Rat's Might, Attack Up. I can use the boost to make the bait give us 1,000% a hit. Potential or total, I think. No higher than that. I think it's 1,500 total. It's obscene. It's completely obscene. So, damage that Chris could do is enormous. Oh, we also have Whip Mastery maxed, and uh, we'll eventually get Attack Up maxed. I think that's the only thing holding Chris back at the moment. Okay, so let's swap ah, people out. What were you thinking? I'm sure you think this through. I'm gonna put myself back in the party because I'm useful for skipping encounters. We'll bring Anne back in because she's good for just regulars now. Because I'm not gearing up for a boss anymore. Brendan and I can be our boss killer, technically. That'll be fun. Yeah, I probably should have made Anne the prayer character. I originally wanted Anne to be the boss character, but I ended up switching the roles because I just found prayer so much more useful. Casual play. Like, it's not, like, in a super amazing skill or anything, but, like, when we do a lot of sustained combat, it does save me a lot of trips. I forgot who I was bringing with me. Oh, Calvisha. All right, hold on a second. Be quick. I think we're looking pretty good there. Again, we have a lot of weapon upgrades. So we've almost completed our See character upgrades for the day. So I think I just need three more runs of the other thing. Welcome to the rooster. We'll save because we made progress. Sign in over here. So we'll Turn get the super whip, a super tired. axe, and maybe we'll end the stream where Etrian fighting the ah, golem you. to see how much easier it is. What? You're backing out? Or if people want to make characters, this is probably the last stream I will let like, character creation occur. Because I will hey not there. have time to level them. How goes the job? Still need antlers. Yeah. Do we have any other quests we can accept? In? Okay, let's look at what the Crystal Maiden is. Crystal Maiden of Etria wishes to surround herself with jewels from which she takes her... I don't know what that word means. Let's, try, let's learn something new today. For which she takes her nickname, Sobriquet? No, oh, Sobriquet. What is the name of this song? Oh, I have no idea, Kelby I, I don't know. I don't listen to the soundtrack outside of Atria. It would just be the shot song. I don't know how else you would look it up. Ah, yeah, what a word. Decided to take the request, have you? Good, I've been hoping someone would. The client has always worn her family's distinctive blue crystal. And to be honest, it looks good on her. But she says she's no longer satisfied with just that. Let's try wearing crystals of other colors. For now she wants you to tame three shiny vines. Well, where did we pick those up? I forget. Vines made of beautiful crystals. I'd like to see one myself. I feel like I just sold them. So it had to have been somewhere we just were. Unfortunately, they didn't give us a hint as to where this is. Um, I think that's in. I think that's in the final dungeon. I'm counting on you. I don't know if we unlock that chopping point, though. We got the shiny seed. I don't think we've gotten the shiny vines specifically. And no one's surprised. The Let Grimoire is garbage. Ah, hello. You please accept this. Amrita times two? I Actually, understand. that could not have come at a more fortuitous time. It's the lounge where we speak Very tomorrow. Well. Interesting. I'll look after these. So we actually need a lot, a lot, a lot of Amritas, and that really helps us because we were down to like two, 
like two sessions ago. Now we're at eight, which is not terrible. We'll probably still bring Hamal with us. So one thing I didn't really mention before and why Shaky is probably better than any medic you will ever bring with you into a party. I didn't really rely on this before, but now I'm thinking about bringing him in full time, especially with Resuscitate. Efficiency at max rank doubles healing and doubles TP. So those heals with Soma that heal for, what was it, 100? About 100 or so are now 200 health heals. So with Soma, he basically could full party heal now. Item storage it is very, very powerful. Item storage then? It makes the game way easier, for sure. Item storage then? So we're going to be abusing very that, well. I think. I'll look after these. We weren't using a ton of ton of items before, so I didn't necessarily well. need them, but now I'm very interested. Well. I look after these. And we I need 60,000 more. I think we can do that. Hello? Then maybe maybe we'll fight the golem and then next week we'll just be plot and then Rejoin just progressing are. to the end of the game. Got a new gun. Not that useful. We don't have a character that can use guns. We're getting close, Chris. We're getting close. I didn't realize uh, Viper scaled off of tech, like in terms of poison damage. But potentially we could boost your poison damage at some point, Chris. Apparently, I didn't think it did, but apparently it does. One tech which is also magic resistance and agility 3. Agility is my fault. It's not a terrible trait. Might just want the 30 health and 3 agility over 5 agility, to be real with you. I think I'd rather take the health there. Yeah, we're pretty close. We've gotten almost every awesome. character where we need to go. The only thing we need to purchase is a decent axe. As I said before, I don't think I need the end game power axe unless I'm Welcome going to the for uh, super bosses. Here whenever you're tired. And the Lux Staff just makes the Hexers more consistent, which is really huge for them. So Stone and Curse is very, very likely to trigger with 20 luck, for example, and we could give them the accessory that also boosts their luck that I think Chris has currently. So they can basically just get, like, Perma Stone and kill a lot of really annoying enemies on the fifth floor. So we might end up walking around with Ping or something later on. But I think Shaky will eventually overtake Try, at least for the final boss. Unfortunately, we don't have a super bow for Shaky, or else I think he would actually straight up out damage Try. Now, if the enemy has a weakness, Try still does a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong, I think he's still going to be useful for that regard. In fact, since we're mining and doing stuff like that, it's pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna do a couple more runs, but I think we Welcome completed back, every everyone. quest. I am at your service. I'm rather yes at once. Is there any have a I love how it's like double your health, but it's like <laughs> just <laughs> whatever. I don't think we unlocked any points here. I guess we could double check. Again, we are looking really <sighs> tanky compared to where we were before. Now, sadly, Chad, would you believe it that with this 340 health, I still don't think I have enough to survive the Drake. That was all the way back on the 8th floor. Remember that Drake, Chad? We tried avoiding it. I think it is still with, not within our reach. Bolt Wall will help a lot with that fight, but it's more like I need to get more bash resistance. So maybe the Protector might survive if they defend, get hit by it, and all that other nonsense. Yeah, so I don't have access to what I need for the other quest. But I wanted to verify. At some point I'll try fighting that. I'm not in a rush. I don't need whatever item that drops, I'll put it that way. It's it's not in my notes, so I don't think it matters. Um Oh yeah. It, it'll do like 300 plus on a single target. For sure. I think if we were to try it earlier, we'd probably take upwards of 500. But I think now with the resistance, even just 20% off of 500 is kind of huge. And we, as I said before, we might survive a hit now, maybe. Let's see if the, uh, we respond. Like the answer to that is no. We do have mining now, which should speed up this process very, very slightly. But I think this is my preferred route for money. While still also going for the other quests. Dang. Very bad mining spot there, unfortunately. No rares and almost no items, too. 
Yeah, we still need more golden antlers. So we might be farming those for a little bit, chat, just to clear the quest. And you getting the piercing strike there, kind of useful. No antlers again, brutal. But Shaky leveled. Again, Shaky's health is fairly high. That's like, that's why I'm not super concerned about him. Ooh, once we get to max Sagittarius shot, ooh, he's ready for the boss. <laughs> when I got ambushed. Oh, whatever. Yeah, see, I only took like 40 damage there, chat. That's mostly because she's got the double physical resistance as a reminder. She really takes no damage. They have to hit us with an elemental. Yeah, like Calvicium took like double the damage comparatively. And thanks to prayer, I can kind of top off and not spend any resources. That's why I'm saying I, I do like prayer. It's not like useful in bosses and arguably not the best for her just walking around, but with what I'm doing, I like it a lot. Like the only game you'll see me. Oh, that's a new item, Tamari Kadahiba. Uh, I think that means we can get a new katana. Generally speaking, when you chop something down, you end up getting a new katana. That could be interesting. Also, chat. Where where are the uh, golden boars? He double hit and double penetrated on the normal attack. That saved us so much time. Wow, Shaky, Shaky putting in the work on this stream chat. That was ridiculous. He did 400 damage in one turn as a melee character. Can you imagine if he had a good bow? Yeah, Calvicium did 300 on a single melee. That's crazy. Even Calvicium's damage is kind of out of this world. And again, like, if I want to set up for auto-battling, I do think the Survivalist does a lot of damage. Um, is there anything else I wanted to do? I don't think there's any quests we can complete, right? Other than Bug Nest. I don't really feel like doing. Bug Nest might just might be the troll quest. I might give up on that one, to be real with you. The Antler quest we might do Hello? naturally doing this. Let's see. So we don't need that much more. So we got some kind of crown. What's the crown? Oh, headbind resist. Oh, this would have been so useful earlier. What a shame. I mean, I can still put it on characters like Try, so they don't lose their ability to cast, which is useful in some fights. Welcome to the rooster inn. Very well. Then allow we, me to we almost have the world. super whip chat. We're really, really close. Two more of those. We're good to go. Well, be careful out there. And who knows? We might end up getting some Amritas. Which we do uh, need at some point. Will you please accept this? You gave us the divine Not gift. Storage, then? Uh it's fine. I'm not XP farming at the will. moment. Is there anything? I shall await your return. Also, I'm so used to Welcome just ignoring back, her, I probably I should make a meal. Service. Pleasely, here you are. I actually kind of want her to give us rare breed and just for the XP. Return. Now I don't care since we're very powerful. But like, now it would be useful if we got those things. So yeah, we're gonna do, I think, two more trips and then we'll finally have the super whip. And then from there, depending on how much money we make. Actually, I'm just gonna take this encounter. I'm not even gonna skip it. Poor crabs. Why is Try the only character that gets the Grimoire chances chat? Just like, there's so many other characters right now that can take advantage of that. Like, where's, where's my health 10 chat? Where's HP up 10? That would save me so much time. Ooh, a shiny seed. Nice. Oh, 
one shot Caldeceum. Crazy. Poor Caldeceum. Okay, chat, remember, it's a one in four. Please? Alright, that wasn't too atrocious. Yeah, I think hitting that physical resistance armor was kind of big for us, because I'm noticing the protector is basically not really taking damage anymore. One more fight? Not what I want to fight. Now let's boost damage as much as we can. Oh, missing there is so bad. Yikes, Chad. I hope we could kill this in time. But we got we got high damage with Calvicium. Thank you, Calvicium. Try leveled up. Nice. Again, try is kind of there for end game damage. So every formula at max, he could do whatever he wants. I could put a final point in it now that he is a high level. Because this is like an 80% damage increase. So I might pick one to be like my high damage skill. Leave the others as kind of cheap. And yeah, the boss here hasn't respawned yet, which is disappointing. So I honestly think we could just dunk on this boss at this point. You know what I mean, chat? Like, we have a lot more resistances, we have way higher health, like another 50-60. We, we have so many cooling in, we basically could give full physical resistance to everybody if we really want to. What a terrible encounter. Not gonna lie, chat, this is one of those encounters where I'm like, mm. Questionable. I can't take advantage of Pierce. Lots of high-damaging enemies. I'm actually gonna use game, please. I'm gonna use breath here. Breath should outspeed. There we go. Take advantage of a little bit of TP usage. Because with prayer, I should be back at full health. And then the TP will be restored in those two actions. So again, I want to get into fights here while we're here, because if I get the antler quest, it's just free quest clear. Or we could just have the worst luck ever. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that's I guess that's always an option, chat. Just don't get what you want. Just get the same couple enemies over and over. I mean, I might as well just start going for crest fur at this point, because I do at least have a try with bludgeon. Okay, there we go. Oh, because Calvicium took damage, he did a return attack. That was actually kind of nice. Um, I'm gonna safety salve here, just in case. Okay, we're good. Take some TP. I don't think I did. Bad luck, chat. Bad luck. <laughs> we could have had this. We fought enough deer. We fought more than double the amount of deer compared to the materials we needed. And we had one sword away. So we've killed at least 10 today. We've gotten only one pelt, or one antler, I mean. That's pretty bad luck. Pretty bad luck, chat. Oh well. We'll fish for it a little more here. Is this it before? We're just making up for the rest XP. That's all I view this as. Um, dare I fight a Medusa tree? How many Theracas do I have? Decent amount. Oh, we don't have Viper, though. If we had Viper, I would have done it. I thought about it. I actually don't want to protect her in that fight at all. Thought about it though. Big damage. And a Calvicium, both close to leveling. Calvicium leveling would be huge. 
of them before. He's just like a little too low on health. Partially because of the accessory he's wearing, but come on, come on. give it give it antler right before we leave. Nice. Yeah, there we go, right before we left. Nice. Like Avishim slowly getting up there in stats again. I think this will max his HP up. So we can actually do other things with him. Oh, he's already maxed. Um, what do I feel like making the level then? Is Katana Mastery maxed? It is. So he could still give useful skills to other characters. I could level Beheading Cut, technically, and make him learn Frigid Slash. This isn't terrible. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's get Frigid Slash, and then I'll, I'll just put one point in it, and then the rest will just go to Breath and Attack Up. Or I could just get Attack Up now. Let's get Frigid Slash first. I think that's more useful. Plus, this gives me a more damaging move versus bosses. I didn't cut empowering, I mean. Yeah, so let's rank this up to rank 3. Then we'll get something that lets us AoE, so I could potentially do the rank 1 slantwise cut into Frigid Slash to end encounters. Which isn't terrible. Then I'll focus. I'll probably alternate between attack up and breath. The type of war, I, this character is not going to be fighting a lot of bosses. So it's like, I, I will probably find Frigid Slash more useful than Attack Up. Let me have a then look. I can actually Welcome deal with back, some of these enemies. Everyone. Is there anything else? Item storage, then? Uh, we're going to make sure to put away the antler well. this time. There we go. I'll look after these. So we just need two more attacks. Have a safe trip. So I think we're going to get the Super Whip before Hello. we complete that other quest, What's which is kind of sad, but it's true. So we got a little under par, so we might have to do two more instead of just one Welcome more. Welcome to the Rooster Inn. Very well. Then allow me to show you to your room. But yeah, we've basically reset every boss in the game at this point because we've slept so many days. Sign in over here. Which is be careful mostly on there. purpose. I do want to try fighting them again at some point. Ah, it's you. Actually, I'll leave the party as is for now. Welcome back, everyone. I am at your service. Uh, damage recovers TP? Yes, please. Yes, at once. Rare breeds? Okay. Yeah, live with that. Okay, what one? garbage... What booty garbage things did it give us? Oh, it gave us a four slot? Oh my gosh, chat. Something that isn't booty garbage? I can actually use that as an upgrade? Chat, it only took like 65 Grimoire Stones to give me something useful. Chat only 65. Um, do I want to level things like Party Cure? Maybe. As I said before, this character. I only really need Front Guard. Um. No, I don't level Party Cure. Even if I don't raise its HP recovery, it's nice to, it, for it to be slightly stronger. I know. It's just like. Like, look at the, some of the grimoires I'm still wearing. Like, they're so bad. Oh, she's not even equipped with anything. Oh, well, that would explain a lot. Oh, because I rested her. She undid it. That's right. Boy. Um... I guess I can put together a super one for her. She doesn't need prayer anymore. So she could probably get away with, uh... I thought we had a spare one, like Death Scythe. This one isn't too bad. Uh, what can we teach her? I mean, to be fair, I didn't really want anything from her until just now. So I don't view this as a loss. Really don't have great things here. I could give her a severing slash. It's just a free skill. I mean, there's really no downside. I think I should merge the attack ups. Okay. Let, let's let's get this together. So let's take the four slaughter. No, don't equip it. Okay, let's let's give her something decent. Also speaking of which, hold on. What are, what is everybody else equipped with? Oh bloodless and battle instinct. Um I don't think attack up stacks, so I don't need to worry about that. If I had katana mastery, I would take it. I don't think I have a spare one of those. It does not drop for us yet. Valve and Cure at a decent level. Take Chop Mine. 
Yeah, I think we'll just put together this one then. So we'll take wherever that four slaughter is. It's synthesis you want? Okay, so we're gonna take this one. HP up two. I don't think they stack, unfortunately. I could just get TP up. Might be more useful. Take. Honestly, all these are pretty terrible. I, I don't really care which ones. Will this do? A perfect grid bar created by Chris. It's done. Uh, let's power up the power grid more. Be better. I could give it scavenge. Oh, crit up would be kind of nice. Even if it's just rank one, it's just free damage. We'll do HP, TP, crit up. Well, this is done. We're already a little better, but I think we could do better. Is there anything we could give her, like a mastery? Do we have anything spare that's useful? Defense up, I technically that's an improvement. Technically. And most of these are just bad. Like, this is just sad how bad our stuff is, chat. Oh, there's a crit up too. Yeah, I probably want to give that to Calvisium at some point. Um, crit up three. Interesting. I have a couple crit ups. I'm not gonna worry about this one being the best possible. Yeah, why not? I'm not gonna use this otherwise. Take HP, crit up, something like this. John, if we could just randomly win battles, I think I Please. think I'll take this. I don't care how low the percentage is, honestly. So better than nothing. I think we can all agree. Better than nothing. Who will carry this one? He's like an okay level. Who will carry this so one? for Calvisium. Let's merge. Let's see if we could give him anything that has more than just those two slots. I thought we had a spare four in here. Well, can I sort this by slots? Oh, do I need to touch the touch screen? No, how do I do that? Do sort. What button is this? Oh, it's CD. Yeah, so we have this one, which I think was Kirk's old one. Then we have a gun spare one. Um, I think I'll get rid of... Really, it doesn't matter which one I get rid of here. We're all good. I'm gonna keep the prayer one where it is. But I think for this one... Then when I go to... For Calvisium... So I'm gonna take everything he has and just keep it. And I don't think it matters literally at all what the other one is. Take uh, Bloodlust, Battle Instinct. These are pretty terrible. Better is what we take. We're gonna Please. take the Four Slaughter and let's see if there's some easy things we can add in here. We do Crit Up. Back up three, maybe. Just looking to see if there's any kind of like single skill stuff we can get rid of. TP Up wouldn't be terrible. I think we'll get rid of the crit that's here. Because he does auto attack a lot. None of the remaining skills are good. It really doesn't Will matter. This do? it's done. So just it's randomly critting would be kind of nice. HP up doesn't stack, or else I would have taken that. Could do focus. Really sure. Defense up for free stats. Is there nothing else you can really take? He doesn't want to take the other cures, because the other cures are a lot worse than breath. If only there was a katana mastery. I feel- I regret getting rid of one of our katana masteries, because I'm actually really feeling it, because we would be doing so much more damage if I just had even just one of them chat. So brutal. Oh, this was our old uh, Kirk weapon setup. I junk it at some point, think about it. Right, I'm not really seeing anything I'm really in love with. Oh, Ping is only using Holy Gift by itself. We should probably improve that at some point. I, 
mean, I guess I could just give him the take at this point. Yeah, HP up one, pretty terrible. Curse Mastery one, also pretty bad. Why don't we do Bloodlust, Battle Instinct, Crit up and take, so that way we have better resource gathering. Will this do? It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. It's done. Better than nothing. Please, take it. Who will carry this one? It's only a rank one take, so I don't feel like I'm gonna be heartbroken over it, chat, to be honest. But hey. I'll be shame randomly critting on normals could be nice. I cannot prepare that. Have a safe trip. Yeah, I'm I'm looking for like actually good grimoires, but the game is gonna say no. <laughs> Well, let's hope we get the crit here, chat. We might be in trouble. Oh, nice. It didn't do the charge attack. Well, that's that monster's fault, chat. It could have killed us if it wanted to. Again, prayer should mostly balance out our health. Now that party cure just makes it easier to restore between battle. I'm not gonna see that ever as something I use in battle. Her TP is literally just there to stabilize the party through random encounters as far as I'm concerned. Which is perfect. I don't need them mid-battle. A rare enemy. Uh, not less cut. Attack boost. Bolt and power shotgun. Oh, it just ran into the link. Well, that sucks. Well, well, I guess the rabbit is dead, chat, because we I was going for the rare breed kill. Rest in peace, rabbit. Yeah, we are so close to getting the ultimate whip. You know what? We got take rank one. I might as well just try it. That didn't actually kill. Wow. Lucky. Well, time to use beheading cut. Nice. I had a feeling it would penetrate. I guess. Oh, we didn't get the extra take. Hey, Tron. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna wrap up the session soon. We're going to basically get the super whip and we're going to try getting the ultimate axe. A lot of, a lot of mining. Your character has been very crucial in making this not take a million years. You are dealing with all of these annoying enemies. Copy shoot exploded. Rest in peace, copy shoot. Revive Calvisium. Yeah, this is where I think Resuscitate is useful. I don't want to burn Nectar since that's limited use. And because I have Prayer, I can afford to whip Resuscitate a lot. Case in point. Case in point. Remember, chat, 1 and 4. We were at 105, I think, when I started. Terrible luck. We'll get some TP back on the next fight. Because uh, Shaky really doesn't need to use his TP ever. Except on boss fights.
I love that Tri gets 5 TP back for killing something due to the current thing we have on. So unfair. So I think he's just going TP positive. Yeah, basically. He spent no TP. Even though we've been in like 4 battles. But hopefully we have it off of this mining spot, but we'll find out. Ooh, I was about to say, we were due for a golden antler chance. Perish. Ooh, Shaky with the double hits there. That's gonna save a lot of time. Thank you, Shaky. And we got another gold antler chat. We're really close. We're almost done with this quest, amazingly. I think that's our fourth one, if I'm counting correctly. We need one more for the quest. While we're also getting money for the final weapon. So also, the reason I want the Super Whip empowered, in case chat didn't pick up on something earlier, Kirk's ability to allow enemy, or enemies, to allow allies to strike after him also multiplies how much the Whip does. So Chris was already doing almost 2,000, not an exaggeration, per hit with Kirk's ability. Now, like, what if we just give Chris another 200 plus base percentage? So basically, it's going to speed up the final boss by a lot of turns because Chris is literally doing double damage when he was already doing 10 times damage. So the overall damage is out of control. That's all you need to know. I was gonna go for the press pelt here, but I wanna go for the kill. Oh. I've just gone for press pelt. Disappointing. I didn't even see what Grimoire we got. I'm just gonna assume it's terrible. So yeah, Chris is going to be the damage MVP. When he's not vipering, he's going to be baiting, and when he's not baiting, he's going to be uh, being forced to attack via her, and then everything dies. So I've already learned Fire Prelude, and I only really need to learn one for the final boss. The upcoming bosses are actually also weak to fire, from what I remember, because I think they're ice-based. So we're going to do an insane amount of damage to them, potentially. It's kind of unfair. It is what it is. No antlers. But whatever. We're just giving little bits of XP to the party. How are we doing item-wise? More or less cap? That was a pretty good trip. We are so close to the super whip chat. You can pack it you can practically touch it. We're so close. And that's with every other character getting upgraded. Look at that chat. We were one purchase off. That is brutal. What you got for me? So I think what we'll do is the moment we get the super whip, we're gonna put uh, Chris to the, in the party, room. and then uh, I don't know who to get rid of. Maybe me. I can really do anything. Very well. I guess I could remove me from the party. Then allow me to show you to your room. I mean, I'm here to avoid encounters, and I don't think we need to worry well, about avoiding encounters. Our, our team is looking pretty good. As I said before, I don't really need to level at all. You please accept this. Nectar times three, that was so huge. Actually, that might be all we need for the final battle now. I don't have to do any additional grinding. Yeah, I'm gonna have over 20 revives. This is really good. This is really, really good. Because this is this lets me do uh, the bonus bosses as well. Item storage then? Item storage I kid you not, that was such a time save. If I'm gonna do the bonus content, that was such a time save. Yeah, look at that. We're at, we're at 21 revives now. That is a lot of chances to beat the final boss. And also the upcoming boss. I'll probably have to use some there too. I don't think I need regular Medica at this point anymore. I think we've kind of grown past that point, but it is what it is. Fine, I'll look at the Grimoire Stone. Oh, you actually gave Penetrator? Interesting. I wish that was a higher rank. I mean, that's a good passive skill to just give to any attacker. Okay, so that, that wasn't the most garbage one we've ever seen. It was, it's like doable. It's also a three slaughter. Have a safe trip. So yeah, once we do this, we can purchase two Lux Staves, and then I have to decide whether or not we just save up for a Super Axe. Kirk's damage isn't like the most crucial Welcome thing in the, the world. Like, he has a decent axe. Please. I would like Come to, before here, we get to the tired. final area, have it. But I'm not in a rush in the meantime. So hopefully whatever we get here will go towards Kirk's either replacement axe or eventually his super axe. 
I know, if we if we were told, you know, we were told to live, so therefore we're gonna win. I know. We we have we have a big thing to live up to. Actually speaking of which. Well, we have Grimoire chance up. I might as well just get to another fight. The one thing I learned is that the number of steps you need to get into an encounter is random when you first enter a floor. And it res well, we already seen that it resets when you go between stairs, but I didn't realize there was such a big difference between like the minimum and the max. Like there, I could have made another seven to eight steps from the entrance, where before I couldn't even make it to here with spare steps. So imagine that when you delay the raid already with the the door, and that's potentially like 20 to 30 extra steps without encounters. Like, it, it does add up a lot. I mostly just want to make sure Chopper Hair dies. Uh, beheading Putt, we're gonna go for the low chances to kill, why not? Oh, uh, just melee, it's fine. Oh, we didn't get the insta kill, what a shame. We're almost at the point I would consider fighting that. I remember that thing does a lot, a lot of damage. But obviously, if we manage to kill a super boss, it's gonna be a lot easier. Ooh, that was a terrible mine. That was so bad. Yikes. Yikes how bad that was, chat. With two people with completely max mine skill, we only got five items. That's pretty bad. And, and considering we had two rank 10s and one rank 1, that was pretty atrocious. Pretty big fail. Please kill the bunny. Please stop missing. You're making me scared. I don't want to lose a character to this nonsense. I'm just gonna melee. There we go. I'm still really questioning what navy fluid we're acquiring from these monsters. A little concerned, chat. Okay. You know, for a Grimoire chance 100%, we sure are seeing basically zero Grimoire chances. Just gonna, just gonna call the game out on that one, chat. Like, I know we're a decent level and all, but like, why isn't at least Calvicium getting prop chances? You know what I mean, chat? I don't feel like I'm asking for that much. Diggy not too far off from leveling, which is kind of nice. I'm already done as a character. My extra skill points, it literally doesn't matter. I guess that's kind of the good and the bad thing for Troubadour. I don't need to worry about being any specific level. I just like, by the time I'm level 40, I should have every skill that I would ever need for any boss. And everything else is just fluff. I feel like some characters are really strict with the points, and it's like, man, I need attack up, and... No, I want this boost, but I also want this, and like there's a lot where it's just like you have to make a lot of painful decisions. And ultimately you get most of them by the end. But uh Troubadour is basically done prior to the fifth floor, which is kinda nice. How did we all miss? There we go. I'm just assuming Try got it again. I don't know why I try. Just do like character classes influence how easily you get the Grimoire chance? Because I feel like Try is literally the only character that gets Grimoire chances. Like it's actually ridiculous. I feel like I'm being cheated, Chad, is what I'm trying to tell you. So I was hoping the penetrator would occur, and it did. JK leveling again? I think he's done. I'm just assuming they're all created by Try, I'll be real with you. Is there any that wasn't? Oh, it doesn't tell me who made it from here. Oh, hey! Dark Grimmar 1? We got an enemy skill. It's probably still terrible, but it's different at least. It's a different kind of terrible. Nice, no, Sagittarius shot almost maxed. And we're in go mode for the boss. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 
that's unfortunate. Let's do a breath here to heal. I'm gonna do boosted fire damage, probably one shot this entire group. Shot the entire group. Uh, I'll just keep using breath. That damage is crazy. Also, Puffy Shim died, that's kind of unfortunate. I think this should end the battle though, at least. leveling. I don't really need it, but we'll take it. I've done before. This character's done. Like, I'm just kind of messing around. Is Eerie Chorus worth learning? I mean, I'll take Faster Song, I guess. I don't know if I'll ever bother using this, to be honest. There's, like, one boss I might use it on, maybe, but it's just, like... I'm going to use my ability to avoid encounters briefly. Don't worry, we're low on health, but... We're all revived, so we're fine. All we're looking to do here is maximize our money. This will pay off for the whip. This will just determine if how many uh, luck stabs we get. And then I think what we'll do is we will try to set up a boss kill for Golem to unlock the best axe. So we'll use probably, what is it, formaldehyde, so when we go to kill them, we just one-shot them and get the item, hopefully. Ooh, really bad item drop rate again. Also, I, did I just sell the golden antler? I just realized. I'm kind of tired, chat, I apologize if I did. I just thought about it. I'm pretty sure I didn't store it. Oh well. It is what it is. A Vishim leveling, not bad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I sold it. Oh well. I mean, it's just a quest for XP. At the end of the world. Given that I don't really need XP at the moment, I think that's fine. However... We're one level away. Frigid Slash would be huge for Calvicium. Health-wise, he's kind of mediocre, because he doesn't have anything that buffs it. We'll try one more attempt for the Golden Antlers. I think that'll be our little ritual until we get it. So every time we come in the dungeon, we just go for it once. Oh, random ambush, sure. Ooh, a chance to get pressed fur. Sure. I think Shim should just heal every turn. I think Shim should just heal every turn. Bows can target the back row. Oh, shaky do piercing damage, maybe. We did do piercing damage. This sucks. Single target cure, healthy shield. Oh, he still died. That sucks. Hopefully, he doesn't kill. Oh, no. We got an antler at least. Got an antler at least. No, I would have been done with the quest here. Oh, well. Still might clear it without needing to do anything too crazy. As I said before, this is just gonna be our normal route for a while. I think it is worth getting the antler. Obviously, once we get the antlers, I'm not gonna take this long route again. I'm just gonna leave as soon as we get the uh, chop points. So, redemption for golden antler? Nope. Actually, we got time. We might as well just keep battling for it. We got time, chat. This is literally the only item we need. 
we don't have to do this again. Plus it's like just a little more XP. Not fun, not what I'm looking for. One more antler, you can do it. See, this is where, this would be the only time I would ever do the encounter rate up. This right here, when I'm one item from getting a quest, that's it. Otherwise, I would never use it in casual play. I think the encounter rate is normally pretty high normally. Getting low on item space. But it's more items to sell, so we'll, we'll do one more battle. That should be enough. One more battle since we didn't. If we don't cap on items, I'm just doing another battle. So one more antler, please, maybe? Question mark. Okay, redemption time. Why did I use fire formula to play that? I'm glad that didn't go through. Oh, I didn't get the item. We got the rare breed though. But we also didn't get an item. You know what that means, chat. If I don't get that item, I'm gonna keep going. And super close to leveling. Unfortunately, we're out of item space. Let me have a look. Ah, won't you please accept this? She's given us a lot of grinding items, is which isn't the worst thing ever. Them? I just don't want them right now. Very well. When we're I looking to catch up characters well. like Yentos, we're gonna take advantage them. of those. We are I one antler them. away, chat. Brutal. Very well. I look after I shall don't think we need anything else. So let's just junk everything. Now we can buy the Super Whip Guarantee. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. I could get a new armor? What's the new armor? Oh. Tat. Oh. I don't care about that at all. Anyway, time to remove myself from the party. I've earned enough experience for the entire game as far as I'm concerned. Let's go ahead and bring in Chris. Well, if Chris... And uh, we'll keep leaving Kalpishim in because I need money. But we'll switch over to uh, Rina again eventually. We'll do uh, try as usual and... Oh, I was just thinking, we need elemental damage for the golem. Alright, mm. hold on a second. Hmm. See you around. That's gonna take forever without elemental damage. Ooh, I didn't think about that. I mean, Chris's Viper is pretty BS, don't get me wrong. I need to think about the Golem. Welcome back, everyone. Cry is definitely recommended because it doesn't resist physical. I would probably get rid of Calvicium for me again because I could give Fire Prelude which means melee characters can actually damage. And then I would probably get rid of Shaky as well. Specifically for the golem boss. Item storage then? Is there anything else? Okay, well, what what grimoires did we get? Oh, we got a bow mastery? Like, for real? Did I finally get something useful, chat? I've been waiting, like, all session for this. Yeah, I could just straight up upgrade then. Do I have a four slaughter that's free? Or are they all gone? Oh, I have a few. Okay. I could get action. I think action boost is so broken. I, I have to ban myself from it. Like, that gun skill is so stupid, chat. Like, I just... The moment I get that, I'm gonna just be duping it, like, all day. It's so stupid. It lets you double hit. So that means, like... Kirk's ability to follow up, it, it, he just basically has exponential damage. You, if you give this to every character, his total damage is just BS. 
there's nothing the game can really do to compete with that at all. Um, oh, there's a take three. Oh, Reen has the take three. That makes sense. Prayer, salve. Um... Yeah, we haven't gotten another prayer since then, which kind of sucks. I guess I'll leave it as is. I'd rather keep the prayer separate for now. Have a safe anyway, trip. it's time to get the real upgrade. I want you Hello? to look at how dumb this weapon are. is and why we've been grinding for this for today's session. Look at that damage increase. He gets five agility, which is insane because he's already fast. Tech goes up. So he actually gets more magic resistance, because that's how magic damage is determined. And that also means his Viper does more damage. So everything about the character is empowered, so there's no reason for me to not purchase this. And I have so much money I can actually buy the double luck staff if I really want to. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, we'll hold on to our money for now. It might go towards the whip or something. Welcome to the Rooster Inn. Okay. Sign in over here, please. I just wanna, I just Come wanna do here, one gathering party to get a little bit of spare cash, and then I think we're gonna go fight the golem. <clears throat> As I said before, I want to make sure that we have enough for maybe Kirk's drywall weapon, if nothing else. And I just want to see how much raw damage Chris does at this point. I'm really curious. Welcome so, to the Rooster Inn. So characters Sign like the Hexer here, will decrease their defense against Chris, and the Troubadour will buff Chris's damage. Kirk has the war cry ability, which is better than what mine does. So if I can keep the party alive, come back here whenever you're tired. Should be okay. Also, I think I forgot to uh, get Hello. up. Oh. Next time you should buy yeah, Chris's something. damage is out Welcome of control. Back, Even his health everyone. is really good. I am at your service. Here you are. Is there any have a safe trip? So the only thing I might need is a sip of four. Spare money for that equipment and somas, because I'm gonna need a lot of somas. We'll do one more dungeon run, but we're not skipping any encounters. We're just going in, chat. And I think I'll give that final quest XP over to... Yeah, see how much further I got in here? Look at that. Isn't that ridiculous? Oh, I didn't actually advance time. That's unfortunate. I got so excited for Chris's damage. He did 145. Wow. How much does Viper do? Now I'm curious. I'll use Breath to go front line. Four hundred and fifteen damage. Oh wow, that out damage try completely. That wasn't even close. How much you out damage try? That was gross. You actually one shot the pylon. Man, that weapon is so good, chat. Yeah, you better go first. You're not gonna- you're not gonna survive a turn against this nonsense. Oh my gosh, the damage is out of control. Here it comes, chat. How much is Viper gonna do? <laughs> it hit for another 406. Nice. So he just does 400 and does 400 twice, which is already eight times more than any other party member without any buffs. That's not fair. No, that's not fair. I guess we'll just go because I didn't reset the materials. We'll just go here. Wow, the damage is out of control. And again, due to prayer, we should be fine. We're gonna go until we have Golden Antler. Who knows, time might actually reset. If it goes to 7 a.m. before we get that antler, I'll go do the other gather points. I mean, combat is just flying now. I think we could all agree. Like, Calvicium's katana is really, really strong. That's why we purchased that. As you saw, it did 300 damage, but Chris still out damages because of Chris. Nice. Again, we're going to be seeing a lot of really quick encounters. So, I think it's worth it now. Chris legit one-shots at this point. I don't even have to use TP anymore. That's how one-sided this dungeon is now. So we might get revenge on Medusa Tree. I'll think about it. I guess we could try to end the end this dungeon with Medusa Tree. For here. I'm just looking for Golden Antler. Nice. Yeah, that is so much better. Gold pelt. So cl What a tease. Chat, what a tease. So Chris needs to get about, I think... 12 more levels to completely max, but I don't look to do that before we get to the final boss. Yeah, 
Helvetium's health is okay. It could be better. I got some grimoire from somebody. I'm just assuming it's Try. I, I, I've given up on assuming it was anybody else. Yeah, oh man, chat. Here it comes. Multiple activation up? Yeah. So, if Chris's basic damage is 400, right now I think Chris can do almost 1600 with bait. To give you an idea, without any other multipliers. Just keep in mind, it does like a like maybe somewhere between 150 to 200 percent per hit, but it's gonna keep scaling. So Chris can already basically punish any FOE for hitting the front line. They should just die instantly. In fact, I'll activate bait one time just to show how stupid it is. Oh, we got the antler. That was fast. Okay, let let's show how dumb this is, Chad. Just any enemy that attacks the front row. I don't care what it is. Oh, they're so done. Oh, does it only go side to side? Oh, so I need Chris in the middle. So just with bait, chat, I'm curious how much damage this will do. Um, I don't have anything to buff Chris's damage, so we'll just have to see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's doing 200% damage already. Oh no. Oh no, they don't want any of this chat. Don't attack, it's a trap, it's a trap! It's a trap! <laughs> Run! <laughs> he does 800 a hit! So, you, so Chris, right now, you deal uh, 3200 damage when it activates. So the only thing we're gonna do is just keep leveling bait, and that is basically GG. There's really nothing they can do. Um, Do I feel like leveling any of these other things? I feel like not really. I mean, I could level Shield Mastery, I guess. Uh, we'll get mine. Yeah, definitely fair. Do so you need how many more levels to max it? Six, you'll be at 52. And then you need five more levels and your character is done. So 57 is your max. I think the normal mode before you go into the post game max level is 60. Do you still have spare points somehow? Oh, you don't even have HP up. What a monster. What a monster. I could get HP up at some point. Okay, Bridget Slash, that's big for Calvicium. All your severe points are going there, by the way, Chris, to HP up. Um, I might as well just go find Medusa Tree. Unfortunately, I can't use bait on him because he's not a good monster for it. But I promise you, there are really good encounters for it, like some of the bonus bosses. Probably almost level. I'm just curious if we can handle it. If I die, it's not really a big deal. Should be able to get boosted Viper on this. We'll do... I'm not even gonna bother front guarding. I think we'll be fine. Let's go straight for boosted Viper. Um, I'm gonna do boosted... Nah, I'll just regular chance. Do... You're weak to fire, right? Then I could do boosted analysis, maybe? No, I'll do regular analysis. I don't need boosted analysis. We'll do boosted Sagittarius, though. Don't petrify Chris. Chris, how did you miss Viper? I'm so disappointed right now. I can't believe that whip. And I wanted to know how much that was going to do. Brutal. Oh, I'm using the wrong stance, I just realized. Oh, I need to clear stance this then. Hmm, we'll have to see another time how much it'll do. 610 base damage is pretty solid. That did a ton of damage. I think what I'll do is I'll do- oh, I can't do it because I'm bound. Do Viper again. Can't heal, which is annoying. I think the front line's gonna die. Well, Chris will probably survive because of Chris, but... Or... Wow. Okay. Or you just you just win against Medusa Tree. I mean, I guess, I guess that works. Just win. <laughs> Chat, there is no next turn. It's over. I guess I could start putting points in Chop, because honestly, he's kind of done as a character. I really need these other ones. 
Again, try I could set up for bosses, but he's another character I really don't bother maxing points on. So I'm just gonna take that. Ideally, I would want focus for a boss battle, because any spare TP is kinda nice. But yeah, that, that was just kind of unfair. Speaking of unfair. Look at that feeling between combat, so gross. Wow. Shaky almost leveled, so he's basically done. I guess I'll return to Etria. I guess I'm ready for the golem, because that damage looked pretty real to me. I don't know about you, chat. Don't tell the golden antler, oh my god. Scared myself. Scared myself was like, that was so autopilot. Oh no. Okay, let's bring in the party that's gonna go into the boss battle. So it'll be me, Chris, Erk, Ang, Try. All right, hold on a second. This should be fair. See you around. Yeah, Ping's probably a little under leveled. How goes the job? Oh, now, I actually retrieve the heroes. items. One second. Let me have welcome back, everyone. Is there anything? Item storage then? Is this what you wanted? I so we're only missing the bug nest quest. We're so close. Hey there. Oh, let's report it in How chat. Goes the job? Hey, Gold nice. shoe acquired. It's probably garbage and not worth it. Also, we still have other chef's requests, by the way. I never completed that one. You got the golden antler. It is very pretty. But I'd probably refrain from displaying that in my house, wouldn't you? Thank you for taking the job. Here's your reward. Golden shoe acquired. Okay, not a lot of XP, but, you know, it, it's at least off the quest menu. I think this party is basically good to go. I'm counting on you. That also did uh -oh. not give us a lot of money. It's disappointing. Mark Bark gives us okay cash, though. We acquired a new sword. I think because we killed the, uh... I think because we killed... What's his name? The tree. Because the tree drops Bark. It let us get a new sword, which is kind of funny. Is that better than the one we had before? It is, technically, by poor damage. But I think Agility 10 is better for normal play. I don't think 3 attack is going to make enough of a difference for a repurchase. Alright, so what we're definitely going to do is for Ping's character, who's only using a Bone Flail, by the way. Which gives, what again, is that health? Uh, I could lose a little health. In exchange for 20 luck, chat? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that trade all day. Unfortunately, I think this means that our paralysis resists. I don't think we have enough for perks packs. Yeah. Plus eight thousand. Thanks for the business. I can grind for eight thousand. That's everyone. fine. Like we're so close. It's just gonna make life easier if I have it. Is there any item storage then? Have a safe trip. Let's actually advance time. What? Wait, it's 8 a.m. Wait, I don't need to tired. advance time anymore. Um, I got rid of Calvicium, so we don't have the super mining skill. I still have Try, who's okay at mining. And we lost our other miner. I think this is still fine. I don't need a ton of money. I Like, I, all I need is, like, 3k, Chad. I, I really honestly need nothing. So I might as well just come here normally. I mean, at this rate, it looks like we could just straight up kill the FOEs. There we go. Try gave us a little extra cash. Better than nothing, chat. I think Chris just basically one shots that. I don't have to worry about that at all. Could do Stone Curse. That's like an okay odds of killing. Or we just whip it. That's what we just whip. Decent damage. Perka's almost leveled. That can be useful right before the golem fight. Any extra damage is welcome. Again, we do so much damage at the moment, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, 
this should probably be good for the boss fight. Nice perk level, so he got up to Chris. Perk's axe mastery is kind of low. I could teach him attack up in general. I think I will. Well, actually, I should go for axe mastery. It's just free skills. And if it, if we get another one, it duplicates it. It's technically better than attack up. There's still no bosses spawned here. Maybe I do have to get further for this one because I feel like it's been several. Maybe it hasn't been several weeks, but I feel like it's been at least a week. We'll try again. Oh, the FOE respawned. Nice. Uh, I just realized we don't really have a healer outside of me. That's fine. Again, I just kind of want to see how much raw damage that uh, Chris does in my burn. That one shot. That straight up one shot. Okay. Guess that answers that question. Aw, oh, no multiple takes there. Disappointing. Might as well just fill in the map slightly so people are less bothered by it. There we go. Filling in the map just just for chat. This is a hideous amount of enemies. Get me out of here. Can I Viper the back row? Oh, I can. GG. <laughs> right, chat? GG. It's over. Fine, we're good. Um, I could work cry Chris's damage. It would probably do an obscenely gross amount of damage. Uh, I'll do healing Rondo. Go for Stone Curse. And blow everything up. Yeah, Chris Chris one-shot the enemy. Nice. Yeah, so you can already see, like, what a big difference the weapon damage makes. 1,323 damage on a Viper crit. I didn't even consider the fact that bait could crit either. Oh my gosh, that is so much potential damage. That is actually insane. Uh, I want Chris to just swipe from the back row. Go for a generic heal here. Uh, I don't really remember what they're weak to, but we have a pretty high rank of uh, stone, so I'm just gonna believe. Chris one shot the back row, of course he did. Oh, the curse! There we go! I'm gonna say the luck staff kicked in there. 20 luck. We haven't missed too many stones. I feel like. I feel like it's working. They went first. That's unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunate for them. They didn't kill. They didn't kill Chris. It's over. GG. I mean, there's no reason for me to not attempt stoning Chris every turn. So. Oh, we missed. Wow. I just love that Chris is doing like nine. Oh, Chris actually got a grimoire. Are we actually gonna get it, chat? Are we gonna get something useful? Is it gonna happen? I've been waiting this entire time to get a skill. It's a oh, hello. Free money? Free money. Love to see it, chat. You love it when the game just gives you money. I didn't try to go for that, but the game decided to give it to me, so we'll take that. I guess we'll do a couple mining points and then leave. Isn't that before? I don't need a lot of money. I just need enough for Kirk's axe. Which I think will make a difference. Because it is like 30 attack. Like that's that's a noticeable amount more. In particular when everything is multiplied. That thing is gonna die instantly. I'm not even gonna bother attacking any of those party members. Uh I'll go for stoning first here as well, and then we'll do ice formula in the middle. Wow. That's all I have that's all I have to say there, right there, chat. That was We're we're in one shot city. Oh Stone Curse isn't even maxed yet? Oh my gosh, chat. I'm like, I'm like, make it more accurate? Yes, please. Even if it's only 2%, I, I will take the 2%, chat. It it could even be 1%, I would still consider that worth it. Anything that makes me skip encounters, I'm like, yes, please. I want to deal with them. Wow. 
Yeah, now that Ping has the Lux Staff, his uh, insta-kill chance is looking pretty high, I have to say. Unless they're, like, straight up immune to it. Looking like we're going to be saving a lot of time in the near future. Anyway, let's return to town now, I guess. Or I could try to go for that uh, stupid... Uh... We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that once. We'll go for the dumb item that I can never seem to get. You know what? I'm feeling so confident. We're even going to fight the crabs. I'm feeling it, chat. I just want to see. I'm going to feel that progression. This weapon is just completely absurd. I'm just going to restock my TP first. That's all. That giant enemy crab can do its best. Like, it's welcome to try. Like, over there. I mean, Chris just literally hit the back row. I don't think there's anything they can do. Oh, we don't have a, a prayer user. Wall counters. I didn't really think about that until just now. Oh well. Let's get into a fight here. So it could be useful getting prayer on other characters, just the game doesn't allow it for some reason. Okay, we'll kill the back row, because I feel like that one's more annoying. And I'm just gonna prep for the boss. I'm trying so hard not to kill it, Chad. I just I'm like, come on, speed it up a little. You can do it. I should probably heal myself. Oh well. Let's see how much boosted Viper does, chat. I'm hoping this just straight up one shots. Uh is it weak to anything? I mean I could always try to add fire prelude to Chris. I'm sure the damage would be gross. Yeah, 410 damage is pretty hot. We almost one-shot it. It's gonna die next turn guaranteed, but I'm still gonna try to kill it. Uh, I'll do a healing rondo here. might kill with her. Oh, I hit the wrong target. Now it's not gonna kill. That's unfortunate. Or Chris's poison does 871. That's also fine. Yeah, that we're fine. Even messing that up, it didn't matter. Okay, we should have enough money. So I really want to see if the golem boss can even do anything about this at all. I'm gonna guess no. Because we already beat him without all this stuff. Hey there! Yeah, I gotta believe in the poison, you're right. Come again, kiddos. Hello? What you got for me? That's a lot of money. Hey, I got some new goods. Go Is that on Except new item available. What item was available? Oh, I didn't get uh Do I get the physical version of the character? Tough call. The upcoming boss uh, does a lot of bash damage. How good is Red Cape? Is he health? I keep them with that, honestly. I wish I could wear more than one accessory. I wouldn't even bother with armor. Oh, Blood Mail is available. But it only gives defense, so I don't really care about that at all. So I could give Kirk Lacey Hyde for like slightly more defense uh, just before this upcoming boss, but I think at minimum we should purchase this. It's, yeah, look at that damage increase, chat. Like that that's kind of a big difference. There you go. So I think I can afford that small what armor upgrade. I might as well as do. gonna make a big difference. Here you go. We'll hold off on this for now. But hey, if I take even just eight or nine less damage, Welcome to the I'll consider end. it a win. 
sleep one more day. Allow me to show you to your room. If I have enough to rest and maybe purchase some items, I guess we'll try the golem Sign boss. Over here, please. Well, be careful out there. Uh, what do we need? Actually, I'm gonna save once we get Let the items. Have a look. Welcome back, everyone. Is okay, what grimoires did yes? you give us? Attack up three. Okay. Not, not garbage. It's not what I, it's not what I want. But you know, it, it's close. Oh, that's right. Chris got HP up from the passives. I don't even need to get that. Oh, that's silly. Oh, no wonder why Chris is so tanky. That makes sense now, actually. Um. Oh, that is a four slaughter. Who will carry this one? Yeah, I think Ping's Holy Gift needs to be something else. We'll, uh, unequip it. I mean, like, I'm happy he's getting XP, but... Also, why can you not unequip in that menu? That drives me wild. So we'll just give him random things. I mean, I could give him, like, the Volt formula. Maybe, or Return formula. We'll combine Holy Gift with... Any three slaughter, I don't think it matters. Ooh, that is sword mastery on it, though. This one's probably fun. Thinking about what to get rid of, chat. I'm just really deeply thinking about it. HP. I guess I could get rid of HP up. Will this do? Wait, what, 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 what? Oh, because I didn't start with this one. I was like, something weird just happened. I was like, let me let me undo. Yeah, that's fine. We can keep Holy Gift. Keep mine. And I guess Spark Formula. Will this do? It's done. Please, take it. I could give him Focus, because he's kind of useless without TP. would be the worst idea. that was in this list. I already lost it. And chat. Way too many things to sort through. Way too many. It's in here somewhere, I swear. Not getting rid of our prayers. I mean, I could just give them prayer in general. It's not the worst thing ever to take. HP up 3 wouldn't be the worst thing to get either. Yeah, why don't I do that? Get rid of uh, poison dust or any of that. So we'll do mine and focus. Will this do? It's done. That way he still gets some Take TP. Because he literally can't do anything without TP. He's pretty bad without TP. So any amount of health there would I think would be welcome. So I since we're about to do a boss, why don't we take a lot of Silmas? I actually don't have a lot of somas. That's kind of scary. Was this what you wanted? Here you are. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna Is have to. We're gonna have to get some money later. So we're we're probably gonna bring in Kalpishim at some point one last time. Welcome to the Rooster Inn. For today, I mean. Sign not in over here, please. But I think for now, this should be enough healing items to get me through the boss. I have a couple direct heals, several group heals. It's probably okay. And I also just remember. Whenever you're tired. If I'm going Welcome for Kirk's back, super everyone. weapon. Item storage then? Is there anything else? Item storage then? Why don't we retrieve an actually useful item? Not hunting horn, what is it? The Maldehyde, right? Yeah. We're gonna use this just for the rare bosses. I could save this for the drapes. Which is not a terrible idea, but we'll see how that goes. Um, let me get myself a couple blades of oils, actually. This would be one of the rare times I would consider using it. And I'll take a spare so much just in case. Have a safe trip. So we should do the DPS. Welcome I'm more concerned about just killing the boss too quickly, honestly. Sign in over here. Come back here whenever you're tired. Like, that's my real fear. Yeah, Kirk's damage is now really, really, really solid. Back row damage is okay. 
like, at least with Kirk, because they boost the damage, now the back row should actually do damage, so instead of doing, like, 70 or 80, it should be doing, like, more like 160 to 200, which is a pretty significant improvement. So we'll, we'll see how quickly we kill this boss. And then we might have to try again more than once. So I might reset if we don't get it. I could have gone for this the first time we were here, but... I feel like, given that our damage totals were a bit iffy, I'm okay with waiting until now. Yes, the boss is back. Well, there's an enemy between us and the boss. That's kind of annoying. Are you weak to this element? Did I take a food effect? I feel like I didn't. Wow. I did not. Uh, I think that's actually worth going back for. I mean, I don't mind like storming the boss, but even the HP up one would be good. Sell that one item chat. Thanks for the business. Poor Welcome back, everyone. I am at your service. Uh, we're damaging heals. That's also fine. I'm Robin. Here you are. Is there any? I shall await your return. Okay. Welcome to the Rooster Inn. Sorry that way, Chris here, should please. basically Come heal himself. Also, I just realized Chris and Kirk almost have the same exact health total. That's kind of funny. The ping's probably the squishiest. I'm probably the tankiest in the back row, just because I have bash resistance. Um, nobody in the front row is bash resistance, so they'll end up taking quite a bit of damage here. Yeah, it looks like we're good to go. So I shouldn't run out of TP with this setup, at least. Because at least if I deal damage, it should always give me back TP. So Chris should be able to Viper basically every turn and Orbeat. Oh yeah, you guys have ridiculous HP totals. For sure. It's not fair. But life isn't fair, chat. Let's see. He, he can die at least once. So we'll just do normal Viper here, see how much it does. Uh, let's set up for Strike Chaser. Set up for probably fire prelude on Chris. We'll lower his attack first. I don't know, I'm gonna... Oh, he doesn't have a weakness, right? Analysis, anything. Let's just straight up do damage then. Chris got the poison immediately. Okay. I didn't even come in with boost. Like, that's how convinced I am that this boss is going to explode. I'm gonna go ahead and use a warrior song here, and I think for ping, I'm gonna go for defense down. And I'm gonna play it safe and try to use a Soma in the front of the throw. Oh, I did it on the wrong character, I just realized. Oh, I messed up my combo. No, I did mess up my combo, it just missed. It just missed, never mind. Um, this is still fun. I'll do a follow-up attack on my own. I could just bait here. I'll use bait, actually. Fine. I'll set up for a strike chaser. Fine, we're good. Let's use a uh, random cure. Uh, do I really need to do anything else? Combine his arms. Yeah, that would be useful. We actually bound his arms? Oh. Isn't that how you get his item normally? Hold on. It, it's been a while, chat. <laughs> I think it is. I mean, I could just go for the normal item acquisition. If we don't get it, I reset anyway. Must be defeated while its arms are bound. Well, I got bad news for him, chat. Let's do 
do Fire Prelude. Uh, do another attack down. We'll just do a normal Fire Attack. Should trigger it. So yeah, resisted. Oh my gosh, the damage was insane. Um, I guess I just go for the kill here. I mean, I could formaldehyde. It sh he should die this turn, no matter what. There we go. I, I just guaranteed it. Whatever. I but that was how you normally get the item. That's your arm acquired. This enemy is so dead, chat. I just want to get you an idea of how overpowered we are right now. Like, witness this enemy, chat. Die. <laughs> chat, die. <laughs> Attack boost, why not? Stone curse? You know what? We'll do it anyway. Who cares? <laughs> Slap them. <laughs> Just fight over. <laughs> Game over. Yeah, that, that was brutal. Any other boss I feel like messing up since we're here? Hey Fenrir, how long do you last against Chris out of curiosity? Is the answer two turns or less? I mean, I know I used my boost attack already, but now I'm just kind of curious. I mean, you could try to play epic music for this, but I got some bad news for you. Fire Prelude. Lower its defense. We'll go for Fire Strike. Is he dead? Wow. So it, it's beyond GG. He's dead this turn. There's no way he survives. It's over. Hey, Wolf King main. Nice. What could they do, chat? They could, they could only watch. We're too powerful. Well, I might as well as fish for some bug nests, since clearly nothing can really stop this party. Yeah, we got the item I wanted, and now we just need money. What do you say, Chad? Do I do one last final grind to get the Super Axe and embarrass them? I love I'm regenning TP. It's so funny to me. So we have Kirk's Backup Axe. Chad wants me to go for it? Okay. We'll do an extended session. I did promise, uh, Noten. We'll, we'll do it at the end. I don't want to be a liar. Yeah, I figure we get all the grinding in in one session, and then we will hopefully never need to do it ever again. Let's just, uh... Let's just leave for now. Yeah, that was a pretty convincing victory. Hello? What you got for me? Decent amount of money from that. Hey, got some new goods. Go Meteor Axe is now purchasable. Just to, get, just to show you how powerful this is, chat. Look at the stats it gives. Look at the damage. <laughs> Kirk is basically double damaging and he's tankier and he's 50 more health. So Kirk will basically survive the final boss. Between taking 4 less damage and having 50 more health, you get to decide which is fair. In fact, this is so much attack. He could get away with the all physical resist stuff, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, I think that's about how much his current cape gives him, if you were to compare the two. So I could go for the uh, all physical resist one, wherever it is. Yeah, I could go for this one. So, like, he'll lose health, right? Because he gets 60, but yeah, he'll be basically immune. So he, he does not need a protector anymore. Rooster Inn. Pretty good. Very, then allow me to show you to your room. So now the question is, out, out of curiosity, out of curiosity. Sign in over here, please. I don't expect to win this. I just want to get an understanding, and then chat can get an understanding too. How much damage does Chris do to the uh, what's it called, the Drake? I'm really curious. I might as well have captured that on stream. What were you thinking? I'm sure you think this through. So we're gonna need Volt, so I'm gonna need Granite Knight. I'm gonna bring in Perk, Chris. 
Um, shaky for healing. And E for general buffs, maybe? Or I could get a pigment debuff. Ah, I probably need to be here, actually. All right. Hold on a second. Keep it quick. I, I don't expect to win. I'm just more curious. Welcome to the rooster. Okay, nice little save here. Sign in over here. Come back here whenever you're tired. I want to survive at least the vault wall and then get an understanding. So funny enough, I actually don't care about this enemy's rare item. Unfortunately, it gives a spear, which is normally really great if you're in story mode. It gives the most powerful spear in the game. But like, if you're able to beat this boss, then the protagonist that you play as in story mode is the most powerful character in the game. And everything from that point onwards is a joke. Because uh, this is obviously like really easy to reach. Uh, my recommendation if you want to get this super early is you actually just put it in picnic mode and this boss is doable. I could beat this boss in picnic mode, but I feel like so far we haven't really cheesed a boss like that. So I, I'm pretty sure with our stats right now we can win in picnic mode for sure. So I vault wall, which should let me get through. I just want to see, I just want to see. How close are we to beating this on normal? So we're going to immediately Volt Wall, because I think he always starts with that attack. And then I'm going to do things like Viper. And we're going to start prepping. So put Fire Prelude on Chris. Shaky can just do Sagittarius stuff. Dodge Chris, really? Brutal. Alright, so he is guaranteed not to use it this turn. So I could parry to make Chris survive. And then I'll just do a normal strike here. I'll do some attack boost. I'm just curious, like, how much damage we need to do. Did Chris seriously just miss twice in a row? Seriously? That is a huge waste of time. That really sucks. So, I guess I'm not gonna find out how much damage we do, as I apparently cannot land a blow. Very unfortunate. One shot shaky in the back row. So Chris has 500. This boss has 22,000 health. So I think with the bait it would be good. I'm gonna guess he's gonna do lightning strike. I actually don't know. Um, I will bait in case he doesn't. Oh no no, I already did strike chaser. So Chris has to attack here. Do I still have fire prelude on? I do. I swear if Chris misses, I'm going to be so tilted. I just want to see how much damage he does. I feel like I'm really not asking for that much. Why did that not do any damage? Is he resistant to it or something? He's resistant to it. Oh, he's resistant to it. So I'd have to use ice. Oh, that was a misplay. I mean, Chris isn't doing terrible damage to it. I could maybe get through this. So if I do something like... Triple charge, I guess. Just prelude. I mean, like, honestly, if I had two characters with good weapons, I might actually try this on stream. It, it, like, we're, we're lasting an okay amount of time, and obviously if I didn't let Shaky die, we would have been fine. Because he would just be TP spamming on uh, Granite. But it is very interesting. Oh, he disabled all my chasers. What a jerk. What an absolute jerk. Whatever. Oh, it insta-killed Kirk. Well, GG, I guess. Can I at least see Boosted Viper? Can Chris at please at least land that so I can see hypothetical damage? Nope. I'm gonna guess Vault Wall, because he hasn't attacked in a while. No. Wow, he did 249. You see what I mean, chat? This enemy does a lot of damage. That's why I was thinking we weren't quite ready for it, for normal mode. On Picnic, it's a total joke. Yeah, we literally do like 30% more damage or something, and he does like 40% less. So he doesn't even break like 200 damage normally, chat. It's kind of sad. Welcome back. 
But uh, we'll, we'll not disgrace him with picnic mode, even though it would be really early access to all resist, which would be useful. Come back Fine. here whenever you don't tired. need it. Ah, it's you. What'll it be? Keep it quick. What were you thinking? I'm sure you think this through. Mm, let's bring in all of our gatherers. So I think we'll do green, because he's got some mining, I think. As well as Alvicium, as well as Try, as well as probably Shaky. I guess Chris could be in there just because, because his damage is insane. Probably more useful than a Troubadour. All right, hold on a second. That is a very front-loaded party. I haven't seen Reen in a while. What's his equipment like? Oh, he's got the decent sword. Oh, and he actually also has Lacy Hide. He's actually got pretty good stuff in the Adamas. Okay. The Reen health-wise is where I kind of want Calvisham to reach eventually. He also probably has HP up if I had to go. Yeah, he's got max HP up. He's also almost there. We're getting there. We're getting there. See you around. Let's go gather. It's Chris is basically going to speed up everyone. the auto battles pretty significantly. I am at your service. Yes, at once. Is there? I don't really have a solid healer, but I technically have two front row healers, so I guess it doesn't matter. But ideally, here I would have taken prayer. It's like a five point passive on somebody, and that would be all I need. Let's go get some money, Chan. Again, our raw damage should just let us beat everything. I don't think I have anything to really worry about. Yeah, here's another example where I'm able to make it to the mining spot, potentially without an encounter. Almost. Ooh, Chris got double hit there. Brutal. Poor Chris. Do I have any regular healing spells at all? I don't think I do. <laughs> Realized. That's kind of unfortunate. Try to leave. Uh, should one shot. Avisham should outspeed. I could put Chris in the middle just to have enhanced healing. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have Calvisham attack because he does more damage. And I'm gonna Viper one of these. I'm gonna Breath with Green. Fire anybody and then normal attack. That should spare Chris. There we go, we just played around what we had, chat. Giving Reen a little bit of a chance to level. I feel like we haven't used him lately. Not that he's bad, it's just I really want money. I can't blame me on that one. Get some quick item. See if the boss respawned. Did not. Ooh, nothing from take there either. I think green has plus three to take, apparently. That's why I was thinking that one was new. Yeah, very offensive oriented party. Ooh, nice. Everybody got a little something there. Rare enemy. Um, probably just go for the standards. We'll breath the front line just in case. And let's ice everybody. Shaky level, Chris level, nice. We're out of room. How many items did I pick up from mining? That's oh, because I have the Somas. Got to get rid of those. That was a my bad moment. Go we'll get rid of them. I mean, Chad, as I said before, this is just gonna keep improving. This is just gonna keep improving the bait damage. So I know there's certain attacks in the upcoming bosses I can predict. You know what, let's get the max attack damage here. The Shaky's ready for bosses. Anything at this point is just extra. So I'll probably get a combination of HP up and Predator. Because being able to ignore random encounters 
that are disadvantageous to us. It's kind of big. This is the fastest. Wait, that's not floor one. Whatever. I'm already here. <laughs> it's faster for me to do this than to use the touch screen. Now let's put away our sparrow items. I really don't need them. Hello? What you got for me? Well, well, I think his axe costs quite Welcome a lot. Back, I don't know, we'll see. Items I think at minimum I need money for uh, healing items. I actually don't think I have enough Silmas to keep the game. I have enough Nectar. That I feel pretty comfortable with me. But everything else... I'm really feeling it. Very well. I'll look after you. I, shall await I think what we'll do, chat, I, I don't think we'll go for the super axe, because I think that'll take too much time, Hello. but I do want Which more Soma. Oh, I could buy a lot of Soma Primes. This? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm feeling a little better about beating the game, chat. Feeling a little better. I need maybe about Welcome five back, more of those. Everyone. Maybe that's what we'll do. Very well. So this is essentially going to be a full heal. Well. I'll look out there and have a safe so I could choose who uses it for the full healing. Kind of nice. I think what we'll do, we'll we'll do one more trip. Next time we'll do one more trip, something. and what we're going to do is we're Welcome any leftover back, cash we're going to hold on to, I am at your and service. then we're just going to continue as normal uh, next time. I'm rather yes at once. Is there have a safe trip? Welcome to the room. Very well. Then allow me to show you to your room. So I'm gonna make sure we have spare cash in case I burn out. I'm gonna make sure I can get Amritas, well, which we did get a handful. And Shaky will end up being probably in the party as the healer. So I'm gonna use him over some of the other things that we have. I could give him like Curse Mastery and things like that. Because Curse Mastery really doesn't need a status. Like you don't need like a, a good luck score or anything like that. Hello, Kerr. We were just talking about you. We're gonna hold off on getting your super axe, I think, until later in the game. I thought about it. It's gonna take a while. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But at minimum, I wanted those Soma Primes. Yeah, they're, it's really expensive, though. That's the downside. So unless I dupe items, it's gonna take forever. There's easier ways to get money later in the game. Also, I think Chris is about to die here. Oh, Chris one-shot him, so he didn't die. I mean, that's one way to avoid it. I mean, since you're here, Kirk, I guess I can keep going for it. It's gonna take a while, though. I really need to give one of these other people to, like... We'll do it. You know what, Kirk? We'll do it for you. You're here now. This is gonna be a very long session, but we're gonna go into Soden eventually. How many points we have in mind between all these characters, our money totals are getting really high. So ideally what you would do in a non-Twitch chat generated party, you would probably just bring in like four survivalists and maybe even up to six. And all you would do is go between these points and max your stuff in like one point. This looks like an absolutely horrendous thing to go first. This is actually super unfortunate. I think Chris is going to die here. I don't think there's anything I can do about this they outspeed. There is one skill in the game that stops them from going first, but uh, I don't have it. You know what? We'll take that. They chose not to use their power, and they ran away. We'll take that. So what does Rain need? I could level Flame Grader. Probably should. Well... No, I should level Swallow Strike, actually. Swallow Strike getting a third hit is pretty good. Yeah, look how many items we're getting from mining, by the way, Kirk. Like, just look at the wall. Yeah, those Kunanins are worth a thousand each. You need to hit 240,000 to get your item. 
I'm literally just gonna have everybody heal Chris. I just <laughs> we're putting him on life support right now. We're like, listen, can't lose the DPS. There we go. We're good. So I guess it's just faster to leave at this point then, right? Just work to this one. This might be the fastest way to leave. It's the left button I have to press. Hello? What you got for Something me? like that, Kurt. Too much money we got from this. 20,000, so we need to do that. 11 more times? I mean, I guess. Welcome I don't like to grind. Very well. then allow me to show you to your room. So it kills me a little on the inside. Sign in over here. Well, but we'll do it for it. Yeah, there. that's what I'm saying. Her, your weapon is really, really expensive. Hello. And I needed the, I needed the Soma Primes. I'm pretty sure. Because, like, I could have gone away with Somas in the upcoming fight. But against the uh, other one, no way. Oh, it's 260,000. Oh, a couple more times. Is that our next time you should buy some? Oh, it's too late now, Kirk. <laughs> Wait, well, I'm committing now. We're doing the speed run. Let's go. Once I commit, I'm committing. Because originally I was just gonna blow all my money on the Summa Primes and leave, but we're here now. Yeah, like you can see which one's Chris's damage when you see like 50, 60, and then there's just like a 450 in there for no reason. Yeah, that's fair. Ooh, really bad mining spot. Really, really bad. That's super unfortunate, actually. If we get anything less than two rare items, the game hates us. I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's super bad whenever that happens. You know what? We're gonna show how powerful Viper is, and then we're gonna just Ice Formula the other monster. It almost outdamaged it, even though he has near full resistance to melee. LV Shim leveling is useful. So at this point, he already has Frigid Slash. I guess I could just focus on Breath. If he's gonna be like a support character while mining. Because he'll always go first with how he's set up. Very slowly getting levels. See, the Kulinans are worth it, because those are worth a thousand plus every time you see that. So, we either need 260 Kulinans or we just need to get a lot of junk. You can see our team is just absolutely wrecking them right now. Try level, nice. I don't really need Try's level anymore. I almost kind of wish I had Kirk here. Maybe we'll bring in a Kirk later just for free XP. I'll bring in a character with Chop. I might need an item with Chop later, we'll see. Think about it. Offhand, I can't think of anything, but whatever. As I said before, I'm not in a rush to max skills with a Alchemist, because it makes all their skills cost too much. Even though it is a big damage increase. Another colon in, another colon in, another colon in. Okay, that was a pretty good run. Oh. <laughs> Blindsided? Get out of here. How did they miss? I'm like, we should just outspeed them so hard at this- Oh, we got a Wait, we actually got a Grimoire that wasn't garbage? Wait, no, get out of here. Come on. Come on, don't, don't tease me like that. It better have, like... It better actually have something good. It was something SD. Where- what was it? Hello? I wanna know. What you got for me? Yeah, see all those colonins? That saves a lot of time. Thanks. Yeah, we're gonna get about 21,000 a run. That's not Thanks terrible. But obviously we need 26,000. Let me have a look. Welcome back, everyone. Grimoire okay, what did we just pick yes? up? Stunning Kick 9! This is where you put my 9 skill points? Are you being serious with me? Are you serious? That's today? gross. Very well, I'll get them of all the things we could have gotten nine points on, chat, that's what it gave us. I I disapprove on so many levels. Gross. Anyway, eventually I could take in the other thing. 
I shall await your return. Welcome to the Rooster Inn. Very well. Because if that was on Chris, for own. example, we could have gotten like Whip Mastery Nine. We could have gotten uh, Viper Maxed, for example, and I could just completely undo that entire well, skill tree. Be careful out there. Is that's the only reason I'm in the Whip skill tree? I don't. I don't care about the other skills. All I want is Viper Ten. And if I also get Whip Mastery Ten, then that's twenty skill points I don't need. doing it chat I think I'm gonna entitle this video on YouTube the grind I made sure not to do anything regarding plot unless you count the missions then you know that's kind of you know, whatever but I'm assuming most people don't watch for the mission please one shot okay, good. to be a lot of XP actually for us Lots of grimoires, because it's a rare breed. Ooh, I saw a distinct lack of rare items there. And they went first. Uh, this is good. Thank you, Chris's Viper. Thank you, Chris's Viper, because that could have been so much worse. And you did witness it, Chad. We did die at literally full health on that fight. These fights are nasty. I do not want to get into fights here if I can avoid it. They go fast enough, one way or another. Okay, we're definitely going to breath into Viper, I think, here. I went to go heal with Calvicium and he got outsped. Life is tough, chat. I tried. He needs to be revived for mining stuff, plus he will not activate, so at least I can bring him back. See, this is where I was saying before, like, speed is kind of important, because it's the difference between me being able to heal and not heal. Unfortunately, even with 10 agility, I think just due to his levels, he's just slightly not able to outturn them. Pulling in, nice. Ooh, bad mining spot, absolutely atrocious. That should have been like an easy 5k, and I don't even think we got... They went first. That's unlucky. I'm just gonna breath every turn. Kalvishim's out of the kill zone. Why were they only targeting Shaky, by the way, there? That was weird. He's not even our highest health member or our lowest health member, and he's in the back row. What a weird priority. Also, I love that I skipped going to the, uh, the meals, because I just don't care. <laughs> Only one colon in? Brutal. My oh, bad chat did not mean to press that. I think this is the fastest way to get money. Just do these two really quickly, because if you have your focus in mining, at least you can get a lot of money back on a fast. And that also means we can spawn the bosses. Yeah, this is gonna be a bad run. I don't think we got that much from it. How are we still getting new items? Chad, how is how is that even possible to get new items at this point? I like wait a minute. Chat, yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> um. Oh, I could get extra health. I didn't think about that. Is there an armor that gives health? Or are they all just kind of booty? And health. I hope that's worth it. But he already has skill boots. Oh, that's, I was gonna say, that's the other thing I just remembered. Um, I'll take that over the fire. You know what? We'll take we'll take the loss. There you go. He he is definitely taking way too much damage. What you got for me? And him not dying would save me time, even if it cost me one more run. Uh, I could temporarily get rid of scale boots just for speed. Might not be a terrible idea, actually. Scale boots are useful, I just don't think they're useful right now. I think is the accurate statement. 
Won't you please accept this? Well, she gave us straight up nectars. Nice. So we're, we're definitely good for nectars for the end of the game, so I don't need to grind any of those. Yeah, cut resistance I want for the upcoming boss. For chat's clarity. I am at your service. Yes, at once. Have anyway, Kelby Shim should now live through those things. Welcome, very then allow me to show you to That cost us a bit of money, but I think it was worth it. As I said before, anything that well, requires me to menu less there. and just adds consistency, pretty good. But well, we're getting there. We went almost the whole game without grinding, but I think at this point, since we committed to the whip, we might as well just do it in one session, and then maybe we'll have one more grind session if we do post-game. Otherwise, we should not grind anything between now and the end of the game. Ooh, Chris almost killed himself via uh, curse. The only way Chris can defeat himself is... Uh, the only way Chris can be defeated is if he defeats himself. Shiny Seed, that'll save us a lot of time. I think that's 2k. Uh, I should get guaranteed breath here, which is nice. Take my time on the menu in here. In fact, I'm gonna double breath this. Good call. That was a great call. Got a rare item from that as well. Chat, how how are we still getting normal enemy drops? <laughs> how are there still items we have not seen? How is that even possible? Chat, how many times have we killed that frog? Actually, madness. Like, Kirk has probably seen me kill at least, like, six of them on stream. And Kirk only caught the beginning portion of the stream. I'm like, how? How do we not have those items still? Madness. Well, I guess this is fine. Oh, preemptive strike? Nice. Good opportunity for Chris to heal himself. Again, we'll get, like, very minor levels, and Kirk leveling is okay. I don't really need anything from Kirk. Kirk's also kind of complete as a character. He is Strike Chaser, that's all that matters. Love that Chris just healed himself for 20 health by murder. My favorite way of healing. Oh, where are my colonins at, chat? Where are they at? Brutal. Lots of bad luck today, chat. It's gonna take a little while. You got for me. Yeah. Oh, it's Shiny on 3k, 2.5. Still, it's a lot of money. We got curse gas? I don't think so. Alright, so we need to do this at least 10 Welcome more to times. The Inn. Very well. then allow and then any money we have left over is for Somas, pretty much. Or Hamals. Well, or TG and healing. There. Yeah, Hamals are, like, the only way we can realistically <sighs> get TP outside of, uh... Amritas. Any Amritas we find are kind of like gold stashes. I want as many as possible if we're going to be doing uh, bonus bosses. Because uh, with efficiency, it heals 200 TP, which is an insane amount. Can't look today. Okay, good luck on the preemptive strike, though, at least. Again, any items we get from those monsters is just free cash, because we're not going to cap out on uh, inventory space with how we're doing it. But we do have to be a little careful. I always want to viper this one. There we go. <laughs> Everybody had so much speed that Tri went last. That's kind of funny. Because he's not even a slow character right now, because he's actually pretty high level. Yeah, I think going through this is probably the fastest. Sorry that this is not the most exciting thing to watch, but I'm very excited to see where the damage will be once we're done with this. On cooling in. No cooling in. Man, brutal. I mean, at least we're slowly getting more XP. Like, Shaky getting to 42 is kind of big, because then I can start focusing on other stats. 
And again, sometimes having like that extra 5 to 8 health from a level up does make a difference in the boss fight. I think Helvetian's uh, crit grimoire actually activated. Kinda nice. Helvetian level, which is good. Again, his health is kinda low. Um, keep leveling Breath. Again, if I can give Breath 4 to somebody, basically if I can Master Breath and give it off, it's great. And if not, I still like it as a healing spell anyway. So, I, unlike the other times we have done that, I actively do use that. So even if it just heals like another 20% uh, HP, I'll still take it. Because it is useful because it's faster than every other Hello? healing spell in the game. What you got for me? Only one cool in it, brutal. Ooh, that was a really bad run. Brutal. Only 12k there, chat. I think that was our wor worst run so far. Well, be careful out there. Yeah, any level tier also level Shaky's uh, mining ability, so it technically improves our ability to get money. Yeah, that time we didn't even reach the far wall. That's crazy. Chat. I'm like, get me out of the encounter. Hmm, that was bad luck. We're gonna breath into Viper, into Normal Strike, Flame, into maybe Power Shot. Maybe leveling is huge. Okay, he's got 235 health. I think that's enough to survive the bosses now. Um. Oh yeah, we've already maxed mining. Never mind. Then I'll just do uh, HP up. Sure, we'll make him tankier for boss fights. I was just talking about that. If he was tankier, we'd be fine. More additional items. We'll get there eventually, chat. Uh, Kirk's damage is okay. Like, he's not gonna be the primary damage dealer. It's always gonna be Chris, but he's a pretty good secondary damage dealer. We're using Kirk mostly for the setup, for, like, the chasers and things like that. But he does follow up eventually. He just doesn't get... Instead of the 1,000 damage percent multiplier, he just does, like, 600%, which is still good. It's just... Obviously, if Chris has the super whip, it's GG. Not a great encounter for us. To take my time here. Okay. Working isn't dead to chat. So we have a lot of spare party members that are able to basically handle most of the fifth dungeon at this point. Have everybody focus. doing so much damage. I don't even know why I'm bothering to select other targets. Like, they're just gonna die. Just, I just need to accept the fact that Chris's damage is silly right now. Another cool one in. That was it? Oh! Yikes. That was so bad, I'm actually gonna go mine somewhere else. That, that was so atrocious. We're going for another mining point chat. That was so terrible. I'm not going back with that little resources. We had two people completely botch their mine rolls. We have a couple of takes here, so I'm also gonna go for the take one. Um, I don't know if we win with just via auto battle, so I'm gonna attack this. Definitely with Viper it kills, for sure. Marine getting a little tougher. 
but he's less and less cannon now. I think I was just leveling up his uh, Swallow Strike. It went from two hits to two to three hits. That's automatically a big damage up. Um, I don't think it really matters that they saw me. Yeah, I don't have to wait for them. But we'll get into some random fights here. Ooh, only one take? That wasn't worth it. Okay, they really want me to fight this group of people. I mean, I'm not gonna say no, I'd just rather they perish. They try to make Chris fear. He's seen his whip, he doesn't fear anything. Get out of here. The ingots are still worth an okay amount. But I'm hoping for a lot of cool in it, so that'll make it worth it. Okay, that wasn't worth it. I, if we had gotten three Kulanins, I would have said worth it, but nah, that wasn't worth it. I tried, though. I tried. Hello? Ooh, let's see. What you got for Getting me? close, though. We did get some more monster items, which is okay. Thanks. Is that but we're almost halfway business? there. Welcome to the rooster. On the plus area, side, we can refight every boss room. in the game. Now, if I wanted to, chat, we could go fight Queen Anne again. I'm just kidding. I'll never do that boss here. again. Well, be careful out there. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I could go for the super bow, but I, I'm not grinding for the super bow. That that I'm drawing the line on that one. I'll grind for the super axe, but I don't think I'm gonna grind for the super bow unless we're in like post game. Then I'll think about it. I'm not going to be using Shaky for damage. He's mostly just going to be the healer. Like, Perk legitimately will do damage. If he runs out of stuff, he will have to attack often. Uh... Oh, the other enemy reacts if I'm in combat. Interesting. I mean, that's good to know how it reacts to us. Nice, I dodged that encounter, we're good. Yeah, we're very slowly trickle-feeding some XP. Is there any characters I want to level for the upcoming fight? Like, we're leveling Shaky, for example. But are there any other characters I should level? I don't know if I'm going to bring Try into the fight. I might want to defense down them, because they will do a lot of damage. Or not defense down, I mean attack down. Oh, take actually worked there. Nice. Alright, let's see if we could get this thing to fight us. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. This is from here. Oh, it actually spawned near us. Uh, I need this fight to end instantly. Can you guys just perish? I really appreciate it. Alright, chat. Could, could you die? I just kind of inconsistent me. Is that consistent, the movement I did to force it to spawn near me? Is that like a manipulation? Because I feel like that's twice now I've done most of the same route, and I got it back to back like that. Because this is worth, like, Potentially 3,000. And it also gives okay experience. I mean, I'll take that. I don't think this room is worth doing if the enemy is not there, but if it is there, it's definitely worth it. I'm here, I might as well go for the rare. Nice. So again, we've leveled up our Ronin quite a bit. 
the point where they can sort of survive the fifth stratum. I at least saw an abundance of items that kind of makes up for not getting any rares. I think I'm okay with that. Speaking of okay with that, uh, I need you to perish for me. I really appreciate that. Like, just unconditionally done. Don't run. Okay. Ooh, Chris living on the edge. I'm gonna have everybody breath. They're gonna hold their breath to save Chris. <laughs> like, not the damage dealer, no. Nice, okay. <laughs> Save. And because that was a rare enemy, extra XP. Calvisium level. Calvisium almost caught up to the party level. You're rather silly, I must say. Speaking of silly. Activation rate up? You mean activation rate up? Does it mean speed up? Typo, because it's it's not a percent chance of working. That's why I don't like the word activation there. But speaking of activation. Oh boy, Bait is going to be doing so much damage, Chad. Once it gets to max rank, it's basically over. The Chris is automatically going to do a lot more in the upcoming boss fight. Like, no joke, I think that was an additional 400 damage we just added to the boss every time he uses Bait successfully. It's 20% of his damage at this point, or even 10% of his damage at this point, is just insane. That's like, it's like, whatever. I'll take any percent increase we could get. Okay, we'll take any random item that drops here. Okay, cooling in, cooling in, cooling in. There we go. That's what I want to see, chat. That stuff like that saves us a ton of time. Like, it takes about five normal items to equal a cooling in. So uh, I would rather just see all cooling in, but you know, it is what it is. Magic Leap worth three times more than everything else. Thanks. Hey, that kind of made up for a bad roll. But oh boy. Welcome to the Rooster Inn. Sign in over here, please. I'm saving just in case something weird happens. Let's see, we need 120,000. So six more. Oh, well, seven because it's on 260. We're getting there, Chad. I promise. We're almost done. You've almost survived the grind session of the game. Again, I wouldn't have to do this if I duped money, but I feel like you're not getting the true experience of the game. Because otherwise, if I could just dupe items, I would literally just, like, have infinite Soma Primes, I'd have infinite Nectar 2s, and it would be kind of boring to watch. Like, granted, this portion of it is not as interesting to watch as some of the other ones, but I feel like there's an actual sense of challenge and strategy, whereas, like, if you just dupe items, it's like... How do you lose? <laughs> like, real real talk, how do you lose? You have infinite of everything. You could literally just double Soma Prime every turn. Nothing would ever kill you. Uh, that I don't find interesting at all. So that's why I banned it in this particular playthrough. The downside is that because of that, we are in kind of an extended line period. Just a little bit at a time, Chad. We're still gaining levels, which is rather silly. Again, crits getting levels, super unnecessary, but really funny. Yeah, this boss is not respawning. I must have to beat the upcoming bosses at minimum in order to get them to respawn. Which I'm okay with, you know, it's not the end of the world. Cool, cool in, nice. Jakey can't give us anything else. This is fine. I think they lowered our defense there, but they're never getting another turn, so that was a big misplay from them. Um I guess I could just max rank my formulas now. Since I'm a high enough level that it shouldn't really impact me. Probably do ice at max first. We'll get into one chem combat, it's right here. <laughs> right, Chad, it's right there. We could have potentially gotten an item out of it. Yeah, we're going as fast as we can. 
what you got for me. Nice, two pulling in, love to see it. Ooh. Is that but overall, the materials were super bad. Thanks for Yikes. This. Welcome to the room. Very well. Then allow me to show you to your room. Is it worth going to the other place just to try to get well, rare? Be breed? careful out there. Well, Hello? it's not if Next I keep going to the wrong you location. Buy something. Let me have a look. Welcome back, everyone. Fine. What grimoire stone one? did you give me? Is it garbage? You gave me Penetrator 3. That's not garbage. It's just, I can't... I mean, do I really need take one on this character? Probably not. Get rid of it for now. Need synthesis you want? Uh... I really wish when I unequip something, it would put it where I put it last. I don't feel like I'm asking for that much. Oh, we're getting rid of this dumb stunning kick, by the way. I'm so mad that that was our our first level 9 all session was that one of all things. Let's get Penetrator, since he's going to auto-attack a lot and he can hit the back row. That could be good. Kind of goes with our Is there anything else? general flow. I am at your service. I'm rather yes at once. Percent grimoire chance. I don't really expect anything out of it, but you know it's there. Almost went to floor one. I think I'm just menuing too quickly. Like I'm definitely hitting the commands, but I think I'm just doing it before the game is able to register them. It's soten all over again, chat. I'm going too quickly. Gotta slow it down for the game. Yeah, Try's gonna level, which is useful. Mostly for tech. Oh, okay. That, I, I was about to say, if we only got three items from that, I was gonna say that was one of the worst ones we got. We got a little at the end. Tiny Seed makes up for it. Yeah, we have insanely high-level party members that we have, like, nothing to really do with. I guess I could start maxing these and start leveling these. I have enough chop that I could probably get what I want in one try. I could also go for TP up. So I'll, I'll probably do that next. Now, I think Alchemists are some of the most skill-intensive characters, so it's not possible for me to cap everything. Now let's level up our image. Now, the downside of doing that is it did double the TP cost, so I might leave, like, fire unleveled or something like that. That means he can only cast 9 spells instead of 18, which is kind of a big, big, big difference if you're going through even with boss battles. So we'll, we'll have Vault as our damage dealer and Ice, maybe. We'll see. If I do feel like it's a mistake, it's not like I can't just rest him. He's kind of at the point where if I lose chop, it doesn't really matter. It, it would be nice if I kept it for like the upcoming area, but I don't know, whatever. Yeah, it should guarantee the one shot now. But you don't need it when you have enemies like that, though. You're going to one shot them anyway. Shaky will... He's already maxed Sagittarius shots, so he'll just get HP up, and then I'll put the remaining points into reducing encounters and stuff like that. Pulling in times two, nice. Alright, since I already messed up, we'll go to the first phase. Oh, it actually puts you facing the exit. Hello? What you got for me? On big money, right, chat? Big money, big money. Ooh, not big money. Is that all you came for? Thanks for mm, the not like in these in return rates lately. Welcome we got like 26,000 at one point. I want to see more of those. Because that's going to add an additional time I have to do this at this rate. Because we've had three under 20,000. Well, be careful out there. So we need 100,000 more to go, but we're no longer averaging 20,000. So instead of five, I think it's still going to take six. <sighs> we're so close, chat. So close. On the plus side, Chris is way higher level than he has any right to be. So, him surviving is useful. 
Johnny Seed, perfect drop. I don't feel like the Grimoire was worth doing. I guess if I have a Grimoire Stone, I'll go there. Yeah, Shaky leveling. This is simple four. He's gonna get a lot of useful stats. He's at 34 agility, so I think he almost outspeeds uh, uh, the Alchemist. Which is kind of funny, because Try is not supposed to outspeed people, but because how we set him up, he kind of does. Chris's speed is ridiculous, thanks to the whip that he has, because I think it gives him 5 agility or something ridiculous. He's got pretty good luck, and he's got pretty good tech. The, the chances of him using Viper are pretty high. But we might leave him with that current setup, just to get Viper more consistently. That is kind of like the boss killer. Also, I should've killed. Breath real quick. Double breath, John. There we go, nice and simple. Exactly. It just means that Kirk makes you deal more damage. Kirk can War Cry into Strike Chaser into Fire, and I think that's basically the instant boss kill combo. Because I think Kirk can boost your attack power right now by over 40%. And obviously that's very silly. Combine that with potentially giving you elemental weakness of a boss. So unfair. I think the, the final boss has an elemental weakness. I think. So that we could have used that potentially. Well, if I have a chance, I guess I could use Frigid Slash. I'm just kinda curious about the damage. And also Swallow Strike, just to see if they come out. Ooh, that went really quick. I wonder if it is a speed bonus. Interesting. Tanky with 243 health, and again, it's gonna get tankier and tankier. The odds of our healer dying are decreasing rapidly. He is probably one of the tankiest back row we have in general. And his damage is also okay, even though he doesn't have the super bow. Like, it's, it's acceptable damage, for sure. So close, chat. We're so close. Hello? What you got for me? Thanks. Okay, what I'm gonna do. Thanks for the business. I think, I think I'm okay with Reen for now. Oh, I think you. I want me else to get thinking? some experience. Keep it quick. What will it be? What were you sure you think this I through? still want Chris to absorb as much as possible at this point. Because he actually has a reason to kill now. We need Calvicium, we need Try, we need uh, Shaky. I could bring in Kirk for levels, or Granite Knight for levels, if I decided. I guess I should probably bring in Kirk. Alright, hold uh, on a second. Him getting levels is a bad thing. He could get Axe Mastery. He hasn't leveled up HP up, like, at all. He's already mastered all of these abilities. He's another character that if I were to complete him, it would take like 80 skill points, which is not realistic to do. So he's probably going to cap well before I hit a level 6. Well, I'm going to need to go to at least like level 99, and even then I'm probably going to have to reset him so that Welcome he's able to, the to get higher. In. Sign in over here, please. And by reset here, him, I mean like literally loot him from the party and then only bring him back as a new character. Which... It's really good if you're going for post-game content, but for normal gameplay, there's no point to doing it. You basically do it at, like, level 99 and that's it. That's when you truly want to peak as a character, because it gives you, like, I think 8 to all stats and 8 skill points, which is pretty strong. It just, I don't feel like re-leveling a character at that point. You know what I mean, chat? I realized I didn't use the end. The end. Welcome to Very the then allow me to show you to your room. We have a small price to pay to reset the money, but that's fine. Well, be careful out there. What is uh, Kirk's grimoire, by the way? I looked at a long time. Welcome back, everyone. Who will carry this one? Oh, the one with the chasers on it. Oh, I forgot to put that back on. Um, I wish Kirk could wear that, but he can't. If I want to give up the HP up. And a trader and crit up with Chris is kind of gross. I put that on for now. Chris's health total is still pretty high. Honestly, 274? 
In exchange for getting piercing melee, and anytime you get hit, you counter. I think I might keep that for now, to be honest with you, chat. I might leave it like that. I mean, I could make Chris the tankiest character in the game if I really want to, but... But what if we made him just do more damage? Now, the downside is I lost a healer. This is a bit more vulnerable up here. But if they do hit Chris, they have a very high chance of exploding. Wait a minute, does that mean uh, Calvisium doesn't have anything equipped? I didn't have that. Oh, never mind. We're gonna, we're gonna revert the setup. I, I forgot that wasn't green that was having it. My defense, I remembered it was a Ronin, just the wrong one. So we'll swap it out. I love Kirk just coming in at the end and just bonking the rabbit, just killing him. So close, chat. I can feel it. Dying for it. <laughs> I keep accidentally hitting the floor zoom, and then I'm like, I don't feel like fixing it, so I'm just gonna take the staircase directly. You don't have to do the zoom up there, it's just that. My fingers do not like touch screens, so trying to hit that is like the sanest thing for me. And my finger too big. Well, speaking of which, I first got the uh, piercing strike there, and it was basically GG. I think the only downside is that the thing that we have equipped currently doesn't have whip mastery. But Chris technically is doing lower damage. Yeah, we'll swap it out. I mean, I like those abilities. It's on the very broken story mode character, but I feel like it's a more reasonable ability than the other one. Action Hello? boost is just Next legit broken. Like, something. I just... There's nothing fair about it. Hello, you please accept this. Item storage, then? Is there anything else? It's like, what if I just went twice? Then? Stones, yes? Swap it back into. Oh no. I I have no idea where it went, chat. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know where it is. No. Still slots. Is it in here somewhere? Where's Chris's thing? There it is. Like, man, don't make me navigate these menus. One. For everybody still got something. Good game. Since I'm here. I'm not here you are. Rare enemy up. Okay, trip. I'll take that. Welcome, Barry. Then allow me to show We're you. So close. Room. We're gonna end with the super axe. I mean, you can see its damage is insane. Like just oh, straight up, it, it over there. double damages with Kirk. Hello. It's completely Let's worth it. Ooh. Is that our Good items, business? but not enough of them. Yeah, it's probably gonna take more, unfortunately. You can blame RNG chat. We are getting really terrible finding RNG right now. We went from getting like 19,000 plus to like we're barely getting 15,000. Kind of painful. Yeah, that's a lot of drywall at least. They split their shots in kind of a weird way. I guess I should put Calvisium in the middle now. So he's able to heal both characters. Yeah, super, super bad mining look. Yeah, it's literally costing us like two additional tons. And we're trying to make up some money by purposely getting into encounters here. It's not really working. I am so scared Chris is gonna kill himself. I'm gonna breath and have other people attack instead. Thank you, Kirk, for finishing off the enemy. Elvishim leveling again. I mean, I might as well just keep leveling up. Like, Frigid at slash getting leveled is nice, but like. Three, three costing heal is really nothing. If we could get mega healing from this, this would be so good, as I said before. 
think it's our best healing skill right now. It's way better than Party Cure. Obviously, it doesn't target as many people, but if I need it to go first, it will mean I can even outspeed the item throwers. So it has a, a usage for sure. Okay, lots of chips at least. And it is a group heal, though it's not item reliant either. Nice, got the piercing strike. Saved us a lot of time. Whenever we get the penetrator, it's so good. Unfortunately, some of the other party skills are broken, but if the game legit gives it to us through the crystals, it's fine. Except for action. Otherwise, I'll be sitting there farming it for hours trying to get it to duplicate. Yeah, imagine like if Chris got like double Viper. Can you even imagine that? Like it would just be like guaranteed poison every time. And then he can triple charge into that and then get double boosted Viper. It's pretty unfair. Wow, that was so bad. That was so bad. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Did you see that? We got three items total. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, I figured out how to get the thing to track me. I should have been doing that earlier. That was actually just booty. Yeah, that was much better, comparatively. That was much better. Even if that sells for less, I think we got more from there than the higher mining place. We got blindsided and he went first. And I think he's gonna escape the point. Oh, he didn't escape. Good. Perish. Yeah, that that was so heinous. That was Hello. so bad. What you got for me? Okay, we got the rare. Kind of made up for some stuff. Is that on it's only really thirteen thousand. Come on, are we getting less well, money over time? Spend. What is spend happening? Come back here whenever Why am I getting less from mining spots? I didn't have mining on any other character. Are we just rolling super low now? What's happening? Gross. Well, I was gonna say three more, but at this rate, it's gonna be four more. So we went from like an estimate of 11 to I think we're at like 15. Also, I forgot to sleep. That sucks. I was so tilted by the lack of items. That is so bad. I'm, I'm just gonna thread out of here. I'm not walking out of here. One of these, it's fine. Ah, won't you please accept this? She, she gave us the item I was gonna pick up item anyway. Storage, then? You know what, chat? We'll consider that a success. Increase encounter in rate. Uh, I think we're past the point where we need that, unless I really want to get Bugs Nest. I am at your service. Which I guess we could do at some point. I'm not gonna say we won't try to complete every quest in the game, but. Welcome to the rooster. Very well. Then allow me to show you to your room. Well, be careful out there. I love Chris's 310 health. That's so unfair. This is a cheater. Like, just think it, chat. Every time we do this and we get a Grimoire Stone that's not max rank, just think. It could have been HP 10. Could you imagine me putting HP 10 on any character? How useful that would be? Even Chris would benefit from it. Chris would get, like, another 40 health. That's like, there, there are skills that we need. Like, where's our triple charge, chat? Chris triple charge. That's also something Chris should have had a long time ago, but I don't feel like fishing for it. Rest in peace, triple charge. Your intent was to be transferred over to Chris, but it was for naught. You'll just have to trust me that it is extremely broken, because it basically gives you 20 or more percent extra chance of poison occurring. And you can't miss all things that would have been really great. Another really terrible mining spot. I might just go for the alternate mining spot now. Like, the mining has been so bad, I think it's actually worth doing now. Like, I can't believe I'm saying that, but I'd rather go on the harder floor at this point. 
We are just getting almost literally nothing from these mining spots. Bad RNG. One more encounter before we hit the mine. On the plus side, at least Penetrate is saving us some time. Frick is here to get pressed fur, depending on what we fight. Other colon in. Like there, we only got four items between all those characters. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Alternate mining spot, here we go. I mean, they also drop okay items if they die. That's fully acceptable as well. Chat can see in the bottom right a little more clearly where I'm walking. Okay. I, I didn't want to get into an encounter there, because then I would actually have to fight them. Wow. Again, I love that we go from doing like 40 damage to 500 something. I can always tell which one's Chris. I might as well go for the take even if it's bad. Like one extra encounter. Whatever. And final mining spot. Just doing so much damage. Actually, the HP at the end of turn isn't too bad for our party either. We don't need like tons of healing. There we go. Much better. Yeah, okay, that one was worth it. That one straight up was worth it. Much better. Also, I'm gonna go that way. Oh, that boss is back. Um, hmm. Do I want to get the super... I obviously don't want to do any more grinding for a while, but do I want to get the super bow in the future? Maybe. I think it would help in the bonus dungeon. Hello? What you got for me? I don't need it to be the game, though. How are we... Is that how are we still getting new items? <laughs> I'm so confused. Chat, I'm so confused. How? 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 Why? 60 L, 60 TP, 10 luck. Oh, I wish we got more sprout leaves. This would actually be super good for, uh, what's it called? The Hexer? If we could get one of these on the Hexer, this would also be huge. So then we have like near like 30% added ability to land ailments, including to stone, more importantly. Sign in over here, please. So Very close, chat. Me to show you to your room. Hopefully only two more, but realistically three. Well, be careful out there. Then we can finally get Kirk's axe. And then we'll try it, and then we'll end the Etrian for now. Whew. I guess this also makes up skipping one day of Etrian. Also, this video is going to be super long, I just realized. But hey, at least we got it all in succinct one place. Now, I think that actually was the worst mine we've ever seen. I think that was four items with two mine tens, and none of them were rares. That was pretty bad. But hey, at least Chris is getting more experience. This is how I view this. It just makes my life really easy. So I don't want to spoil what the boss is, but I will state that the upcoming boss does a lot of frontline targeting and a few multi-strikes. So what will end up happening is Bait will basically delete this boss. I have to basically use Ice Wall to block one of its more deadly attacks and punish it super hardcore with everything else. Should be good to go. Well, I'm kind of injured. I'm going to breath here. Yeah, see, that that was 105 heal. Like, that's really, really solid. Considering it's based off his tech score, which is not that high, from my knowledge. Like, 105 group heal. Pretty good. 50% healing. What was our stat? Yeah, he's got literally 18 tech. 
So if, if we put that on, like, try, for example, that would just be so godly unfair how much that heals. It would probably be as... It probably... Well, it's already more powerful than a Soma. It just, uh, for three people. But it's not as good as a Soma time. But it's also extremely cheap. And it doesn't burn my items. As I said before, if I need faster healing, it's probably gonna be our go-to. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was terrible. I, I think we have to go to the bonus winning spot. That was so bad. Yeah, we're having the worst mining luck, Kirk. We should have had it by now, for sure. We literally did a mining spot, Kirk. It gave us four items. I want to remind you, or maybe, or maybe you haven't seen it. At one point, we mined and we got 18 items. And we just got one of just four. But we're having atrocious RNG right now. And it's making this take much longer than it should. It's so bad. It's so bad right now. I'm just like, get me out of here. And they're not even like four good items. Like they're four really bad, the lowest it could go kind of items. I want to avoid that encounter because I wasn't sure if I could enter this area without getting into a fight. Okay, I've had enough chat. We're, we're going into full kill mode. Or if we're just going to have you just like assault the front line and delete them. You know what? We'll, we'll just do the work formula and everything. Just, just perish. Goodbye, Shaky. Goodbye, the character that can revive people. Hmm. This might force us to go back. We'll see. But the most important thing is Kirk is leveled. Uh, Axe Mastery? Yes, please. Okay, Kirk learned a new move, Stunning Smash. This might not be too bad. I, I could spam this on some FOEs and it might be useful. I'm gonna go just straight to the mining spot. I don't want to get into another encounter. Okay, one colon in at least. Small mercy, chat. Small mercy. Unfortunately, we're gonna use some money to rebuy. It is what it is. Welcome to the Rooster Inn. Oh, I'll call Surrender. Then allow me to show you to your room. We're so close, Kirk. I want to see your damage. Well, be careful out there. It should basically one-shot everything on Hello? the fifth floor. What you got for me? Because alternatively, we have to avoid every encounter. Thanks. Only fourteen thousand. Oh my god. Is that all you came for? It is getting worse. Chat, like, the <laughs> why are we getting so much less money? Where was our twenty-four thousand? Where was that at, Chad? Where, where, where's the hope? I need hope Welcome that this back, won't be another two runs. I am at your service. It's looking pretty bleak. It looks like I'm gonna have to do this two more times. Is there any have a safe trip? Rare enemy up? Sure. Why not at this point, Chad? Why not? Yeah, between you and Chris, you're basically gonna be our only valid damage dealers. Try does okay damage. If the enemy has a weakness, but if the enemy doesn't have a weakness, he's gonna be outclassed completely. Okay, we're gonna play delete an enemy here. Goodbye. Okay, I'm gonna attack Need Breath, which is now really powerful, I might add. You see that? That was 160. It must be percentage based. Like, it heals like a flat amount and then percentage. Because it healed Chris 160, which is completely insane. It should not heal that much. Johnny Seed. Okay. Okay, that's promising. That was at least 5k right there, chat. All we need to do is just not go bust with the next items. Shiny enemy. Perish. Oh, we went first, so the enemy never got a turn. Nice! So that means Chris is really likely to level for the upcoming boss. I mean, I don't need it, but it's gonna be funny. Again, Chris is just slowly getting tankier with vitality, more HP, more raw TP, better luck to trigger Viper. Calvician leveled yet again. Oh, Calvician looking really- Calvician with 262 health. Remember when he was at like 130 earlier, chat? What a difference these level ups make. Anyway, let's just keep leveling breath. Cause why not? I guess that's the difference of when you get the max health up. 
with the other one. Like, 260's not bad. Kristen is almost ridiculous 400 health. Unfortunately, I would say... Normally, I would brag and say he's unkillable, but unfortunately, a lot of the upcoming enemies have insta-kill. Finally, we got multiples of 7 instead of just, like, 1s and 2s. Still not great, but better than nothing. One day, they'll not miss chat. One day. Chris is almost leveled again. Kirk leveled sort of recently, so Kirk's at least one level higher than he normally would have been. So all of our damage dealers are just absorbing all this XP, so even though it's not a lot, it goes by so quickly, it doesn't matter. Ooh, kind of risky. I'm actually gonna go for a breath here, just in case. And I'm gonna have Kirk use Assault, and hopefully this thing just explodes. We're gonna use our Vault Formula, this thing should be ult dead. Unless it just runs. Wait, I got a Grimoire from an escaped enemy? That can happen? My mind is blown. My mind- oh, <laughs> the revenge, it's back, chat. I did not know you could get a Grimoire chance if the enemy runs away. I thought that was impossible. We didn't actually kill anybody, but you know what? That's fine. Uh-oh, chat. A attack up, up. Don't mind if I do. So Chris almost says max level bait. Um, we're going to be using this pretty heavily, I think, in the final fight. So the fact that it's already this strong, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I might as well as go to the bonus area so I don't have to teleport one more time. I'm kind of kind of getting tired of it. Let's see if the FOE came back. We did advance the time quite a bit. Okay, it is possible, so we might as well go for the, the items. Uh, we're gonna Viper the back row, that's the real problem. We're gonna move Breath. We're going to Stunning Smash because we can. I wanna see how much damage Bolt Formula does. 865. Yeah, that's what I mean, chat. It's almost like an 80% damage increase from, uh, what was it? Level 9 to level 10. So instead of him doing 400 there, chat, he did 800. Pretty big. The downside, of course, is that it costs a lot of TP. Uh, I'm actually just gonna breath this. And I'm gonna assault them, and they should just perish. Wow. Speaking of which... Let's see if this forces them to spawn here. That looks so consistent! Did we find an actual Manip? Like, I'm not chasing him at all, chat. That's three for three. I think this is real. Th this is 3,000 money. So I have no reason not to do that. That's literally worth two mining spots by itself. We could get a little extra with that. I think it's real. I think I'm willing to say to chat. I think that's actually a real strat. You just go to the take location, go down exactly how I did. If get another 3k. To give you an idea, that's probably worth about 10 materials on the best mining spot. Or one rare and four regular. So it's like we were mining while also still getting XP. Wow, I just love our damage. Jakey's gonna level again, excellent. Don't care if they see us, we're gonna escape before they reach us. Since it's going so well, I'm actually gonna go to the take point here. Also, I think luck Increases your odds of dodging status ailments as well. But the fact that Chris's luck is already this high means he's also not as likely to get hit by them, I believe. Shaky's already got Sagittarius shot. I guess just more HP. Which again, is useful. Keep in mind we haven't been using something called Barbaric March, but we're probably going to be using it in the upcoming fight, and also the final fight, and also all fights going forward that involve uh, FOEs. Because we basically double our health, and that's kind of important that we do that. 
Uh, I'm gonna use a boosted assault just to get an idea of how much damage we're right now. Actually, never mind. We have a boosted boosted vault formula. I think it's GG to this enemy. This damage is gonna be way too high. Oh, he actually survived, but he didn't survive the assault. Good job, Kirk. You finished it up. How? 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 How am I still getting new items? What is our drop rate that we have not completed these enemies of all things yet again? Also, that was one of the worst mining spots I've ever seen. I think the game should apologize to me. Only two items, chat, with two mine tens. That's averaging one item per mine ten. So bad. What you got for me? Oh my gosh. Okay, what item did we unlock out of curiosity? 22,000. There we go. Only one more, chat. I unlocked a moon shield. Is it any good? No. No, it's not. We missed nothing, chat. Okay, guaranteed this is the final one. There is no way I will not make 7,000. Also, I just realized we had somebody that was, uh, petrified. Let's go clear that. The crit is at an absurd 49. He's way overleveled. Um... What else do I want to do? Do I have literally any other hey requests there. I can take? How goes the job? Now, <laughs> we'll do the bug nest eventually, I promise. Again, kiddos. I probably should have completed that because they'll probably ask me for materials from other places. But uh, it's fine. We might we might save that for post game. With all that quest XP I would have gotten, we basically did from grinding this, so I'm okay with that. Or say never. I really hope not. Yeah, the only downside is Kirk is kind of slow as a character, so he's still not going to help with the random clear encounters, as the enemies will always go first. Yeah, where was this earlier? Yeah, we have it already, by the way, I'm pretty sure, off of that. That was at least 4,000, and we still have to get out of this room. I'm still going to do our normal clear. Somebody got an SD. I don't know who it was, but thank you. It's about time, right, chat? Game owes me. Yeah, that was some atrocious luck, though. Speaking of atrocious luck, what the heck was that? I missed every attack? Are you serious? Wow, I hope I don't die from this. This would be the dumbest way to game over. Literally all but one character missed. Thank you. Throw your hands in the air on that one, chat. What was that? I'm allowed to get mad at that. <laughs> Just like, I'm like, I'm what level? And I missed with a 95% accuracy on four characters? Excuse me? I also missed with just normal attack, which has no accuracy modifier. And I missed because... why? Okay. So any spare money, as I said before, it's gonna go to Soma Prime, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing else I really want to get. We got all the Hex Staffs, I think. I could get some defensive accessories for the upcoming boss. I don't know if it's overkill or not. I could try without it. I mean, this should be enough money. I need about 6,000, I think, extra in order to do that. It's not like a ridiculous amount more, especially when we get good mining spots like that. Uh, I actually want Kirk to... Don't hold this enemy. Now let's go. Ooh, not enough to kill. I'm gonna try to get pressed for here, so I'm gonna heal. And Kirk use jump again. Don't let me chat. I know jump doesn't have the best accuracy, but please, thank you. Pressed for. Yeah, there we go. One for the road, chat. So I could get one more pair of super boots. I think that gives like 20 health and 3 agility, which is not terrible. I almost want to fight that boss again with Kirk. 
I, I almost want to do it. Almost. I don't think I have a good spear on, uh... Granite Knight. I also realized I don't have Ice Wall level 5. Though I do need Granite Knight to level at some point. Like, literally Hello? once. What you got for me? No way we don't have a chat. I don't... Whatever. Chat whatever. <laughs> Just... You know what? We'll take it at this point. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Wait, could Chris actually wear that? I mean, it's not useful because I lose Viper, but that is kind of funny. I guess because he is the Axe Grimoire or something. That's such a big damage increase. Look at the damage number, Kirk. And that's so much more health. There you go. Yeah, this is going to make my life way easier. I don't think anybody else can use Axes, so I think I'm okay, okay. to sell this. So if I want to, I could get the Adamus on somebody, like Kirk. I might as well as, actually. There you go. Now Kirk has resistance to every damage type. Let me have a look. Ah, won't you please accept this? Etika 3, don't care about those. Item storage then? So, I guess this is fine. I lose stab resistance, but there's not many bosses that do stab. I think everything that we're gonna fight either does bash or cut. The upcoming boss does cut. So Kirk now has resistance to them. He also has basically as much health as before, but again, he takes less damage from all types. So even just normal encounters are not very likely to hurt him. And his defense is insanely high. 204 is pretty good. So he's basically invincible right now as far as I'm concerned. I'd prefer to get a better shield at some point, but it is what it is. I could replace his shield with the super boot. Okay, what, what Grimoire Stone did we get? Please don't be enemy skill level 9. Don't upset me. <sighs> Strike Chaser level 9. Oh no! It's one rank shy of being useful. No! What a tease! Kirk generated this and it didn't give us triple charge or war cry. Man! If this was triple charge, I would have taken triple charge at level 4. I wouldn't even have complained about it. But man, level 9 strike tracer is not useful. I need it Welcome to be level 10. Time. That's where that's Very it's well. we literally well, only use it for too. damage. It has to be max rank or it's not useful. I mean attack 4 is okay, here, but well, be careful out man, there. if that was level 4 triple charge, I would have been like, man, Chris would have been done as a character. I don't even care Welcome how back, little everyone. percentage it adds. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's go see how much damage it does, and then we're ending Etrian. Welcome we'll to still stream for a bit longer, Sign don't get me here, wrong. Please. Come back here whenever you're Today has been a super long session. Alright, chat, what are, what are we going to just kill arbitrarily? What do you think, chat? Should we just murder delete the final boss of the floor too? Thinking about it. Can anything even survive? Kirk and then Chris going? Let, let's get a feel based off of these enemies. Yeah, they're not going to last. Oh, another Amber Lump. Wow, that was actually useful. Free Nectar. How rare to get something useful randomly. 391. Wow, pretty good. Bonk. Pretty good, chat. Pretty good. But what if? Why does this not look right? Where's the boss? Not the Drake. <laughs> I mean, eventually I want to fight the Drake, don't get me wrong. Uh... I forget where the boss is at. Where is the boss here? Isn't there a boss here? Or is it like in the middle? Oh, no, no, it's over here, it's over here. I had to think about it. It's been so long since we've been here. But what is his rare item, if anything? No, it's like that. His rare item is... 
Where base says first arm. Unlocks the strongest armor available to Lance Connects. Huh. Is the demon nail actually worth it? Let's find out. I mean, I'll I'll go fight this thing later. I'm just really curious. Like, when it means it's the best armor, does that actually mean physical resist, or does it just mean regular defense? I don't care about regular defense. Gives 20 health, 10 strength. Ooh. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. And what is the condition for getting this normally? It has to kill itself with curse damage? Yeah, no way, we're not waiting for that. So anyway, <laughs> I mean like, I get a 10 strength is kind of high. I guess I can just switch into the middle here. Do an upper stance here. I'll use bait. Let's do Warcry. Let's increase our damage as high as possible. Analysis, maybe? Does it have a weak? It doesn't. Oh, that's right. It doesn't do a normal attack to start. I forgot. Um. Let's take a breath attack this. Oh, I don't have enough to. S I don't have uh, my character to see our max damage. That's a shame. I should just normal attack. No, no. This turn I can bait again. I can bait one more time and then we'll do. Break chaser? Over. Yeah, because I could just do lightning or fire or whatever as needed. So we can do probably upper stance for the damage. I'm gonna do boosted bait and hopefully it tries to attack this turn. Fire chaser. And I'm gonna use fire. I'm just curious. Without all of our buffs, how much damage does it do? So this is what I was trying to test before. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Chris's bait did 1,700. Are you serious? What the heck is that damage? Wait, so if that had triggered three times, Chris would have done 5k? Oh my gosh. That damage is monstrous. Oh my gosh, GG. Oh my gosh. Wow, bait it. It's not even at max level. Oh my, what is it at max level? Oh no, chat. We haven't we haven't seen the upper threshold of its damage still. So I mean I think Kirk made Chris do fifteen hundred and Kirk himself did about seven hundred, which is still very respectable damage. Don't get me wrong, but like what if I had hit enemy weakness? Like what if Chris was imbued with fire and the enemy was weak to fire? Would that just literally do three k per bait hit, and then he does strike chaser? I think that would kill almost everything in the game. I'm pretty sure. If you could predict when the multi-hit is coming. I know a lot of people don't use bait in general, and I don't blame them. It's kind of a weird skill. But honestly, now that we have the super whip, I don't know. With Warcry, that was a lot of damage. So I think you're going to see our strategy for all future bosses. Also, I have a pitiful amount of money. Rest in peace, our cash. Let's reset. We're gonna save, oh, literally, we're gonna there. go for the boss next time. I'm not gonna do it right now, but let's oh, set up geez. so that the next session can just literally be go mode. So I need Ziggy um, to set up the damage. I could put Try in there for elemental damage. I I need Granite Knight. This is non-negotiable. Oh, wait a minute. Does Granite Knight have the right... Oh, he might not have it. Ooh, we need to level Granite Knight. I just realized. Um, Shaky versus Try. Who would be more useful? Try would let me get more setups. Or I could just go for Ping and debuff the boss. No, maybe I don't need to debuff them. I might just go for raw damage here. 
go for like Ziggy Try. Hold on a second. This Try is not useful in the final boss, I don't think. But for bursting the upcoming boss, I think would be kind of big for us. I think we're like one. Oh, we're two levels shy. Ooh, that's kind of rough. Don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I need levels. Damn, so we still need to level. See you around. Okay, I just want to see comparatively. If we can just get into one fight here. I was going to end the session, but we're two levels under. Welcome back, Ooh, everyone. I thought I he was at rank service. four, which I was like okay with. But rank three, I don't think is good enough. Please leave it here you are. Is Rare breeds, perfect. Alright, chat. We're gonna do a, a little detour, and I need money anyway. How far off is Granite? Uh, at least go up one level. Like, it, it does, I don't have to get pure immunity to it. But, right, chat? But. I would like a little more than what we have. Oh, Granite Knight's not even close to hitting the next level. That's bad news for us. Do about this situation, Chad. He is really far off from leveling. We would have to hit like five, five or more rare breeds in order to even get remotely close. A little extra money while we're there. I could briefly go to the next floor just to fight those enemies. Might not be a terrible idea. Having stuff like this happen also helps. There we go. Yeah, see, that's 5k. That's not too bad. Oh, I leveled? I don't need to level. Come on. <laughs> right, Jack? Come on. I don't need leveling. Um. Pick the opposite with Ice Prelude. I do need that potentially for the other boss. Again, it's just free damage. Or I could put fire at rank. Nah. I might just take the free damage here. Okay. Or inside melody. Yeah, let's put inside melody up. The four turns. The way I don't have to use it as often. I feel like it already is strong enough to counter the missing. Oh, that's right. It's only like one, one room. The other one would have been better to go to. Oh well, we'll still get into a couple fights here. Maybe we'll get something interesting. Oh! Yeah, we haven't fought Beetlelord before. Uh, parry for the party? Uh, Assault should do a lot of damage with the first thing. I'm gonna buff everybody's damage, and we're just gonna do an AoV ice right play here. Really good call. Gold shell. Hey, that's how you get the other item. Okay, so we could get that other armor technically if I really want to. Fair breed. We're going to front guard, I think. That's also a shame front guard is kind of a low level. As that actually is kind of a problem. Because that would make the other boss easier. I'd have to offset it with more similar crimes. It's not that it's impossible, it's just. It's a difference between reducing, like, 15% damage and 30. Kind of a big deal. It, it it makes a difference as to what items I end up using afterwards. Well, I could do boosted uh, Ice Strike. I think that's the right play here. Nice. Again, getting more and more XP. Oh, maybe that's triple charge, chat. Maybe we finally got triple charge. Wow, the encounter rate here is insane. Can we talk about that? Unfortunately, we have prayer, so I can kind of go all out to some extent, and that kind of offsets Dry's TP. Kind of nice. What are they even weak to? I didn't even look. Just, just ice in the background. Well, just in case. Let's do this.
Not too shabby. Hey, we're getting items for- we're getting, uh, materials for other things. I don't want to reset Granite Knight since we're, like, so deep into it. But I might have to live without per perfected, uh, Ice Wall. Ice Wall is definitely what I would need here. I could go in with boosted Ice Wall. That would help, because I think the- Oh no, the boss can't start with that attack. It's always gonna be second. Oh, okay, so I have some time to set up for it. I think I'm good. I, I think I was overthinking it. I think we'll, we'll be fine. Because I sort of know the patterns of the boss, sort of, offhand. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Nice, kill the poison. But funny enough, Kirk is gonna level before Ren at night. Even though Kirk is, like, way higher level, I think. But hey, more Axe Mastery for Kirk. Or free damage, right, chat? Not gonna say no to that. I will, however, Party Cure. And I'll do Viper. We'll focus all of our damage. We'll do Boosted Assault here. Kirk's damage is so high, even though they resist... Uh, me, they resist these strikes. It doesn't matter. Wow. Speaking of which... Okay, that's going by pretty quickly, so even though we got a little unlucky there, this is fine. I think we'll just grind it out then, chat. Because this is going pretty quickly. Guys, are you really still splitting your strikes? Thank you. Okay, at least we have prayer, as I said before. So if I go a turn without using it, we're good. Please beat the Grimoire I'm waiting on. Right, chat, please. Axe Mastery, sure. More damage for Kirk. He really doesn't need anything else. Like, everything else is fine as is. Oh, that's not true. I do need Savage Cry at one point. I need one point in it. Damn, I should have put it there. I need that specifically for the final boss. Oh, hey, there's the spider web they were mentioning earlier. Party Cure. Viper. Honestly, Assault is so strong on Kirk right now. I'll do Boosted uh, Warrior Song. There's... I'm assuming they're weak to fire, so I'm just gonna purge them. Yeah. Yeah, that looked about right. <laughs> right, chat. That, that looked about right. Oh, we didn't get its item, though. Yeah, this encounter rate is crazy. I think you can see why I want the Troubadour. I think chat now fully understands why I want the Troubadour as we get to the end. The encounter rate here is just so silly. So imagine trying to do a whole dungeon like this, versus just trying to heal. Absolute madness. Now fortunately our Volt formula is so powerful that it should basically just one shot. Pretty much. We're getting a little extra cash, which is nice. Chris is gonna level one more time, I think, due to leveling Granite Knight. Guys, do you mind not missing your attacks? Thank you. Okay, strong webs, good. Might get a new item out of it. I don't really need the money, I think, at this point. We have enough. So it's more just to get at least up to Ice Wall 4. Ideally, I should go in with Ice Wall 5, but I think I'm kind of done grinding. I think I'd just like to beat the game. Unless it's, like, really hard, then I'll go and get that extra level up. We'll see, though. Try got another Grimoire. To no one's surprise. Friend and Knight just kind of keeping the party stable. Yeah, unfortunately, this party goes kind of slow, so for random encounters, this party's not the best. Uh, I need Chris to kill that ASAP. I'm gonna do boosted assault, which should do a ton of damage. Makes the card. I'm gonna do insight so I don't miss that. I'm gonna be very bad if it whips. There we go. Yeah, that did like 300 damage plus. Pretty solid. Again, our TP totals are okay, thanks to prayer. So granted, I hit 43. He's pretty far from 44, though. 
I don't know. What do you think, chat? Should I bother going to 44 or just call it? Because I think at minimum, this is a pretty big damage reduction. Whereas, like, this one makes me completely immune to the boss. Or one boss attack, not the, not the boss in general. Um... Oh, the AoE costs as much as that one. That's interesting. I hold on to this point for now. I could give it to TP up. Yeah, I should give it to TP up, actually. That could make a difference. I'll do at least one more fight, but I'm curious if the chat wants me to become immune to the boss or not for one of its attacks. It does predominantly cut, but there's one AoE that is ice. That can be kind of careful of. I think at minimum we needed to level Chris. So he's right on the cusp, chat. Like, I, how could I deny Chris that level? Okay, chat. He's still not at his max. Nate already does so much damage. Maybe go for the safety? Okay, we'll grind it out then. This will be the true grinding stream. Wow, that encounter rate is insane. You don't need boring bells. Get out of here, game. So we'll probably switch over Granite Knight's spear. And make sure he has what Anne has. Because it is just free damage. But I think majority of the time he's going to be using uh, Ice Wall or Parry. One combination thereof. Or if I'm not sure, I just front guard. Which is why I was kind of hoping his front guard would be higher level, but it is what it is when you have prayer. Ooh, I got cursed. Okay, then I'm just gonna stick the front guard, and you need to die, and all of you can perish. And we're gonna do boosted attack up, and boosted ice to everybody. Nice. <laughs> Try getting all the grimoires as you can. How close are we to maxing items? Oh, we're actually pretty close. I'm gonna go at least two more battles here, then we'll try leaving. Boosted Viper has pretty good odds of hitting. Assault, pretty good odds of killing everything I don't one shot. More damage up for the party, because that's fair. That's not the right one. Perk will clean up even if I miss input. Yeah, we're like maybe more rare breeds from leveling. Yeah, that salve is such a low level. Honestly, at this point, I might as well just get rid of salve. I'm gonna keep Brandon in the party. It's, it's just, it's so bad compared to the other skills. So I, I might even give myself some other things. I don't know what I'll give myself in, in its place, because I don't really need anything, but... It is what it is, I suppose. They didn't even have another turn. So close, chat. On rare breeds, right, chat? This will speed it up immensely if we get the rare breed. Nope. Uh, I'm actually gonna use assault here. I think that's the better play. Fire should just kill. Or not. I'll miss fire attack apparently. Rai is almost leveled. I really don't think he needs the level. So the gimmick with the upcoming boss, I guess, to kind of ease you into it, is that there's going to be basically two bosses I fight at the same time. And one of them is going to be throwing out all sorts of really nasty status ailments. And will basically counter a lot of my buffs. So I will need the Troubadour to kind of counter some of that. So, like, I, that character is actually, like, best in slot for that boss battle. 
And otherwise, I just have to deal with the barrage of, uh, I think, typeless damage, cut, and ice. Though I could deal with ice just by having ice wall and predicting it. And that just leaves cut. So Kirk already has resistance to all uh, physical. Brandon Knight, I think, also has that, and if he doesn't, I'll literally just purchase it for him. And that we should have a pretty front, a pretty tanky front line. But that also means that uh, Chris is probably going to be very squishy in the fight. They're going to be doing a lot of weird damage types. So close. Come on. Come on. Just two, two rare breeds. It would be like 6k a pop. Okay, I'll just go attack this. This is fine. We'll conserve our TP. These enemies aren't worth using it on. Okay, that was like 4,000. So, I need roughly six more battles or two rare breeds, basically. Maybe three rare breeds. Auto battle? Sure. I'm just doing this to conserve TP. That way he tries back at above 100. He actually ran out of room, that's crazy. Okay, I guess we'll go back then. Yeah, might as well as. It didn't take too much more time to do. Might as well as, right chat? Oh, are you gonna fight me right in front of the warp? Are you gonna do that to me? Okay. He's like, you better let me leave. I don't care if they want these supplies. We can always get them later. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, so we have a lot of Soma Prime purchases potentially here. New sword, new axe, new basically everything. Sword, not that useful. Bow is not bad though. I might actually just get that for myself. Thinking about it. What you got for me? Uh, armor that we have Oh. Nothing in there. Accessory? What was the accessory? 80 TP? No. Why wouldn't we get 80 TP when we already can get like five moss rings? <laughs> Right, chat? Like, this was way easier to get than the other 80 TP, and I get 5 agility, so like, why would I ever do that? That's terrible. I already have Tusk Charm, but I could probably wear something else for the boss battle. So I could get myself this, if I just want to be resistant to the boss. Using Old Choker? Oh, for Arm Bind Resistance. Um... Do I need to worry about that in this boss battle? I don't remember. I actually don't remember. I'm gonna leave it on since I don't remember. I did think about that. Uh, it's possible. There, the, the back row boss might do that. Yeah, I could buy a lot of Soma Primes. I can't get any more Emritas. I can get quite a few Nectars in case something terrible happens. And I can also get a lot of stale status ailments. I think we're gonna need Here you go. like eight of those. Thanks for the business. Welcome to the very well. Then allow me to show you to your room. Sign in yeah, over we here. We are very well, high level now. There. For sure. Ooh, almost made a mistake, because we could get rare breed. That would be worth it. Let me have a look. Ah, won't you please accept this? Another nectar? A <laughs> loring belt. You know what, chat? You know what? We're gonna use the I'm loring belt. Service. I didn't think I would ever use it in this playthrough, but we've been driven to it. Rare breeds, perfect. Item storage, then? Exactly what I wanted, finally. Very well. I'm very well. Get rid of these, I'll don't need these. these. Don't care about very vines well. right now. I'll look after these. Don't need this many on very me. Well. Pick them up I'll on look the way out. These. Very well. I'll look after these. Don't need two threads, very waste well. some space. I'll look after these. So I could I just straight up buy turn. another spear at this rate. It's only like 21,000, and I have to level anyway. I think we'll do that, Chad. <laughs> The Granite Knight will get a damage increase, and or if we get a lot of money, I could just buy a bow for myself for, for damage. 
wouldn't be terrible. Eventually, that bow probably should go to safety. Probably with the ridiculous level. I might as well speed him more TP. But again, that, that impacts prayer a little bit. And more importantly, more overall TP for me to store. Crystal wall, drywall. Okay, that's like another 600. I need about... 5,000? We could just get it purely from enemies here, I think. This area is pretty good. Hold on, chat. We're gonna use our warding bell, our luring bell, I mean. Oh my gosh. I'm actually gonna parry this. And then I'm gonna use, let's see, Viper, normal attack, attack up, and maybe ice everybody. And hopefully get the kill. Parry worked excellently there, by the way. I leveled again. I don't even know what I would do. Again, my skill points are kind of pointless at this point. It, it, it literally does not matter what I put points into, because I won't be using them. Or I could get TP up. I'd do that, actually. Just get more TP. That way I'm more consistent as a character. Oh, I should have, uh, oh, I made a mistake there. I should have used, uh, Viper. The party cure, use Viper, and then... Because this hits everybody, this actually does restore a lot of TP. Like, I'm back at 206 already. Granite Knight is almost leveled, and that does help him survive a little bit. I guess it's nice. It's just a shame I have to take manual control of the battle. We're not quite at the point where I can just autopilot, but you can see we're pretty close to that point. If we had three characters with final weapons, I, would, I wouldn't even bother looking at the screen. I think we would just win every time. Chris almost killed himself with curse. Brutal. Live, Chris, live. I mean, I guess this technically would improve Granite Knight's cure, not that I would ever use it in combat over somewhere. Better for me to just reduce the damage up front. There we go, we're gaining health and TP off of the enemies, that's fair. Really close. I think we're gonna go at least until perk levels. Because again, this is free damage. Bear Breed, we're gonna front guard, I think, to go first. Because I think front guard beats everything in priority. It's one of the few skills in the game that can do that. And I think I'm gonna do boosted fire. Kill everything. We're not. That's fine. Nice. Apparently this was Grimoire Central. I, I didn't get the memo, apparently it was. Guys, please stop whipping your main attacks. Please stop, please stop whipping your main attacks. Rest in peace, the front row. Uh, let's, let's at least revive her. <sighs> Deep sigh, chat. All you need to do is have them not miss. They have one job. Okay, I need enough just to survive. I don't care if my TP is low on Granite Knight. That's what his TP is there for. Okay, how much does Boosted Viper deal? Yeah. 
one more in Kirk levels, and that'll be the level we do the boss at. Hopefully this will be enough items to get an upgrade. If not, I'll just work around it, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I am, I am now all grinded out for pretty much the rest of the run. Kirk, pretty powerful. Max Mastery is getting there. And that just adds, I think every one is about 1 or 2%, depending on the level, extra damage. So given that he has that really strong axe, 1%, kind of, kind of important. You combine that with all of his other skills. Let's see, chat. Hello? What you got for me? I think that is barely enough to get the spear. Oh, but I can sell the current spear. Sell the current spear. What you got for me? You want to put that on here? What you got for me? Thanks. This is useful just because of the fact that uh, Kirk will make. Granite Knight attack. So him having over 200 attack is actually really good. Oh yeah, so we don't have a lot of leeway with our money, but I think we're ready to go next time. Welcome to the Rooster Inn. Gonna make sure Ice Wall is level. Perfect. This character is ready for any boss battle. Any future levels will go towards front guard, and I'll be spamming front guard if I don't know what the boss is gonna do. Very well, then allow me to show you to your room. We only have 3k spare. But it should be Signing okay. Here, this is it before we picked up a ton of Soma Primes. Got like 14. So hopefully we don't need more than 8 on this fight. And then any other money we get going forward will be just for that. But what a battle. Oh boy. Yeah, we're at 278 health. I think we could get HP up. See how it goes. Let's talk about how we felt the session went. Lots of grinding. But worth it. I think we are going to basically have a straight line to the finish. Uh, I don't think we'll beat the final boss next week, but we'll at least reach close to the final boss. We might have like one more floor we have to go through because there's a lot of backtracking, maybe two. But we should be at the point where the session after that, realistically, we should be able to get a boss attempt in. But I think for now, that's all I'm going to say about Etrian. This is going to be all on its own video. For people that didn't want to see the grinding, it's all gone. But thank you for sticking with me so far, Chad. We're going to continue streaming for just a bit longer. Even though it is 3 o'clock. So just give me a couple minutes. And I think we'll be good to go. But from the side of YouTube, I'd just like to thank you all for watching to this point, And hope to see you again next time. So long, YouTube.